Holy fucking shit, dude, we're in. <laughs> we're going. I guess since I'm, like, you guys can just run it like your podcast. I'll do my read, and then we'll upload it. And I'll. This will be our podcast, but. That's cool. How's that sound? Yeah. Sounds Adam great. Has, Adam has no idea that I've. Just completely cut him out of the picture. Cut the team. A <laughs> <laughs> little internal kill. Which has been a, a dream of mine to do for a while. But yeah, the, welcome to the new Come Town, which is just a different podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally different. Almost entirely. Yes, dude. Yeah, Stav's dead. Adam's on birthright. Is he actually? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. He's how, in Israel right now? He? Adam is in Israel right now. How old is he? He's 32 years old. <laughs> is that a late birthright? Uh, well, is he going for the Jesus treatment? Dude? If, yeah. if you're, if you're Jewish, you, you get to go. Bad timing. <laughs> That's a late birthright. Yeah. I mean, he's he's not actually. I mean, he's just a yeah, Jewish yeah. person. He's just a J traveling. Back in New York, and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When do you go on birthright? When you're like 17 or so. I think you can yeah. go until you're 27. Yeah, you're fucking hottest. Yeah, sure. Because they let non-Jews go. Oh, that's go, why they do it. Send those 17-year-olds back and you come in them and create more Jays. Yeah. Smart. Yeah, all their community-based shit is just based around making people fuck each other to create more Jews. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> just a joke. You're well, like, what? All the other buttons are pushed down besides this one, so uh-huh. push it as well. Do you know what any of those do? or uh, No. Nice. Not really. We've been I operating love. that thing for two years, and we have no idea. That's what a lot of gear. freaking knobs. Just turning it, hitting buttons. It's too many. I just wait till people talk, and when I see the purple grow while that person's talking, to a certain extent, I'm like, we're good. We got them. Now we're flying. Mm-hmm. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Are you a regular <laughs> DJ, too? Do you, like, DJ, like, music and stuff? Do you oh, do the clubs stuff? all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> no. Deep Vs? Mm-hmm. I'm a VJ. A VJ? I'm more of a VJ, yeah. yeah video, video music jockey. video selector. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Do they still do that? The MTV doesn't. What is on MTV now? I think it's just like pregnant. I think it's just gay girls. people yeah, kissing. Gay people and like yeah. Gay teenagers kids. having their first kiss. <laughs> 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 just hours and hours of gay first what kiss. What is it, for real? This is gay, teenage, it. It's gay teenage sex on MTV. And catfish? Mm-hmm. And catfish. They still do catfish? It's 13 year olds getting. We watched that one show, uh, uh, Life According to Jazz. Yeah, Jazz. Oh, Jazz was that fucking trans kid, trans kid, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is hilarious because she's, like, rich, and then her friends aren't. (laughs) Oh, really? So, like, she has one friend that's just some, like, poor Mexican man that looks like a day laborer that's, like, the way they've transitioned is by getting, like, pink earrings from Claire's. And then the rest of it is still, like, a 230-pound Mexican man. <laughs> and Jazz is just, like, decked out with, like, the nicest surgeries and, like... Jazz is fucking smoking, though, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. I think I've seen Jazz. Jazz is hot. Mm-hmm. Is, is the friend yeah. also trans? Or just, is yeah, all trans? the friends are trans, yeah, friends right? Are trans. It's Wait, poor it's a whole squad of trans? And so, yeah, it's a squad of trans, yeah. You're saying that, but they're too poor to be hot. The Mexican friend is too poor to be hot. Like, difference in economic status already is difficult with friendships. The the jazz looks like a girl, and then the Mexican one looks like a Guess Who character. (laughs) (laughs) Like, I mean, like barely, it's like a shitty disguise. That sucks. Yeah. There. Did you ever see that little like fourteen year old money, dude? Dude, you need to be make that switch. Oh, for sure. You need to be getting paid to trans, dude. Well, it's like it's yeah, like Hunger obviously. Games. Like all the like goofy, fucking wacky people. They're the ones who are watching everybody else. The people who get to look however they want and do whatever they want. They're you the ones who are trans watching. Goofies and wackies. No, no but I'm saying they get that's like, like you get to. Like, <laughs> call trans goofy wackies. No. <laughs> Eddie. Oh, too loud? Uh, no, you're fine. For some reason, it's just your mic is going up like super loud. loud. It's because I laugh really loud. <laughs> you do, I, I'll, I'll like... pull it away. I'll pull it away when I laugh. Yeah, because your other stuff looks fine. I'm like making sure I'm actually bringing you through it right way. Is it clipping? Yeah, I mean, it stop screams there. all the time. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's getting there. I'm just making sure. So we should be good. I just don't want to. Uh, that's my like nightmare is to completely blow the sound. But we're good. I, I have faith that we're you good. You want to pause it and listen to it? Yeah, let me see. Yeah. Real quick. Do you listen to the podcast after you record it? My bad. Fix the technical difficulties. We're in. Nice. Sorry. So you were saying, Abby. What was I saying? You were oh, saying God. something about uh No, it's just like it is a luxury. <laughs> no, they yeah. can. They but... don't deserve it. They didn't get to that point of the Hunger Games yet. Right, right, right. They're not there yet. But so once you... they have the money, they'll get to watch. But you, all... you just know there's like Appalachian rednecks doing their own surgery. 
<laughs> own You're trans. Like, I'll make a pussy. I'm talking about trans. <laughs> you think there's I, trans I know, signs I can make there, a pussy <laughs> myself right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. But turn a possum inside out. I'm still, I'm still on, uh, I like <laughs> support a redneck dad. Yeah, I, I can't let, buy it for you, but I'll make it for you. I'll let a family of possums <laughs> chew my dick and balls off, and then in the hole, I jammed one of their babies. Yeah, yeah. I, kind of, I like Abby's <laughs> I like Abby's idea of mandated military service for trans people. That's a good one for trans people. Yeah, thank you for interpreting. You know, I didn't even know that. That's what I was saying, and now that you said that, I was like, "That is what I meant." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mm-hmm. that's 2020 stuff. That's a stuff. I think of so. I feel that's dude. yeah. I feel nah, like it's dude. really well, ironically. You can just like you know they don't have they don't even need to pay for the surgery. You just step on a fucking roadside bomb, and then you know. Now you oh, just, they're like, well, I'm starting half. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm starting from robot. scratch. Maybe yeah. you put back. You're saying so you'd be put back together the way you want. Yeah, exactly. That's fair. I love those videos of the veterans <laughs> that are like. You know, they came back from Iraq, like, both arms, legs, or both, like, one, one arm, you love this. dick's gone, <laughs> yeah. the whole bottom gone, but then the, that one arm, they were just doing curls all day. <laughs> <laughs> that one arm was like, yeah, what's up? I'm three foot seven, 78 pounds, fucking all, all muscle. All arm wrestles. Like an all real monsters yeah. character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just holding his he's eyeballs. Just got, <laughs> he's got that one arm with just, just covered in veins and tribal tattoos. So, you know, if you fuck with him, on his terms, you're in trouble. Yeah, dude, you ever see here. that legless dude wrestle? Yeah. The guy with no half. Whoa. he's a, a real monster. He holds. <laughs> yeah. He really is not real. He's mon- crumb. He fucks people up. He mm. crum- he's a crumb, and he fucking murders people. Is it because they have low expectations? No, it's no, because he has no, he has no legs. <laughs> Whoever get, gets lowest in wrestling nothing wins. to grab on. <laughs> Whoever gets lowest wins. He's, they can't uh, grab he's him. instantly set up for a takedown. I every think they should time. they take anybody that's like a quadruple amputee and they do a new MMA where they put uh, like they pair them up with each other, but then they're placed <laughs> in cannons that are pointed to the middle of the ring, <laughs> and then you fire them, and whichever one survives is the winner. <laughs> That's pretty fair. I know. I mean, I, these are just some ideas I have for, <laughs> just uh, the, it for the new MTV. Would you, would you, make sure to write them down. <laughs> would you make them more, How would you address like the concussion issue with that? What do you mean? You have to take. You have to make sure they don't. I think oh, I, I, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I would not address it. <laughs> fair enough. Dude, the best yeah. thing about the guy with half. The wrestler, they don't, they don't adjust his just, just Will, uniform. Will Smith is so the little, guy that discovers that that legs. is bad for people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Putting them in the canon is bad for them. <laughs> they are getting brain damage. They try to cover it up. They're getting brain damage from being launched into each other's faces. <laughs> no one cares about the research. Yeah, there's whole centers in Africa dedicated towards like breaking the, uh, figuring out like concussions in sports. Oh really? Yeah. That was well, yeah. Well, in that movie, he was from Africa and he came through and was like, "Yo, mm-hmm. wait, oh, Africa's shit. trying to fucking save us." Yeah, that's well, what's what funny because like concussion is about I, fuck I, them. The concussion is about Will Smith from yeah, Africa. Paying us back he was for like, AIDS. "You guys don't understand." Yeah, that's a whole movie. Yeah, everyone's like, "Um, don't you have AIDS?" <laughs> yeah, why don't you worry about, <laughs> the about your HIV? NFL. Yeah. traumatic brain injury is no joke. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you get some clean water and we'll talk fucking head injuries? Yeah, dude. I can't get that. You missed a good Asian dude. We saw a good Asian Where? down at 7-Eleven. Yeah, it was a mi- get this, a middle-aged <laughs> Chinese guy who tripped. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine? Such I'm a guessing thing? he didn't. And fall we're walking out. We're walking out. He's like, yeah. he was struggling to get up the curb. He couldn't get up the curb. I couldn't tell if he was like I drunk think he had like a or something. He was like, he seemed mm. off. But he, what did he say? He was he's like. What's up, guys? Yeah. <laughs> like, like we walked oh, it's past okay. him. Yeah. And he was like trying to get up a curb. And After he, like, he tripped? Oh, what's up, guys? He played it off. Yeah, he played it off real cool. Aww. But I don't think he was playing off the tripping. I was. I think he was playing off the last 42 years of being a Chinese guy. <laughs> I do. I want to He's do like, a, no, uh, no, no, what's up, dude? I'm, no, I'm like a regular guy. I'm not I wish, Chinese. I want to like get the camera system. <laughs> not Chinese at all. I would love to see a film that was just like Asian people in a rush. Did you ever see that in the city when like they'll just like, oh, start yeah. running? I would love just a compilation of just like... Like seeing set the up, red light and grabbing your backpack and just rushing. Set up a camera at Drexel. Then <laughs> rush class. Every I would go down and get coffee. Every once in a while, you'd see a Tokyo partner Dude, sprint the class. Grip, they grip both strips of the backpack and put their head down and just. Yeah, it's an anime run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's efficient. It's smart. It gets you to where you need to be faster. That's it's, why they're ahead. Yeah, it's not oh, embarrassing. It's so fucking funny. That's the thing that's nice about being Chinese. If you do something embarrassing, no one knows it's you. you know? <laughs> they're just like, I saw this Chinese guy do something stupid. <laughs> No one's going to be like, oh, it's that specific Chinese guy. He could guy. walk in here. I, we saw that guy today. 30 minutes ago. We'd be like, oh, it's, you got to hear about this other Chinese guy we saw. <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah, I've never heard of such a man in my life. <laughs> he couldn't get up a curb? He could, what, 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 the, oh, what the absolute anyways, loser? What's up, guys? At the 7-11? What's up? <laughs> 
Oh, that that sparked that. I gotta hear that fucking New York Chinese accent. Um, <laughs> yeah, we were like we were just talking about like how like Chinatown has like Chinese guys that have like a half Chinese, half New York uh-huh. accent, which is like unique to China. We're like, yeah, these motherfuckers won't come by and say I owe twenty dollar. I don't know about that. <laughs> tell this motherfucker he wants to come by to dry clean up. Maybe I'll talk to him later. <laughs> that's, just, that's just a Cambodian. That's well, a Cambodian yeah. accent. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> we have thugged out Cambodians in Philly, and that's ex- you literally just. Brought Nailed me back it. to like 2003. Maybe it's, just, maybe it's just urban Chinese. Yeah, dude, that was like weird. I knew one guy like that who was a Cambodian dude who literally he'd always say "do." Yeah, you dude. know what I'm saying? "Do," That's "do," it. yeah. Like what you, kind you of just cracked dude. open the case on thug Cambodians, dude. That's yeah. a sick and twisted world you want to get into. Well, yes, yeah, like <laughs> Southeast Asians are fucked up. Thugged out Cambodians, yeah. dude, are like. Do they like pump iron and shit? Like, do they get all buff? Yeah, they just sell, like, like, they just sell like low. What are their? Weed? What's their deal? Like, how do they? They're they, all tough guys, but like, what kind of tough guy are they? So like, they are they sell like low quality weed? Okay, Xanaxes, multiple. They're they're just like fucked up, dude. Mm. These are like wild fucking people. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they'll kill you. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're well, like they're they like their childhood <laughs> like kickboxing and like yeah, you dude. know being fucking carpet bombed. <laughs> they can like kick trees down and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember how much it sucks to be like from a country that was at war with the United States and the United States had not even enough respect to you to publicly declare war? <laughs> <laughs> people know it. Like you're just like. Yeah, it's like when you fucking just, ugly like, chick. So far, like, <laughs> you know, like, tell like, yeah, don't like acknowledge me in public. And France anything. brings it up and you're like, shut the yeah. fuck up, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I told you that. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, they were just fucking around. You dude, told Germany casual. I fucked that. <laughs> it's casual, dude. Yeah. Yeah, that is pretty embarrassing, dude. Mm. People are like, no, nah, we're not at war with you guys. Like, no, yeah, you're literally bombing us. We're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh. Nah, come it's on. It's tight man. that we were doing that to Pakistan a little bit, though. They deserve it. Yeah. Yeah. Pakistan. What are, what are, what are the countries we're at war with right now? Yemen, uh, we're fucking up a Venezuela. little. Venezuela? Or no, maybe we're not fucking up Yemen I enough. Syria, Venezuela. Yeah, we funded a lot of, like, uh, the yeah the genocide in, in Yemen. Good, I like that. Yeah, going like into to Africa. Keep that rolling. Africa mm-hmm. is going. The Chinese are getting mm-hmm. in there, dude. Are they really? Chinese is Africa. Oh yeah, they invest like, heavily in Africa. Yeah, the yeah. Chinese are taking over Africa. Mm-hmm. Chinese. The Chinese. <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm fucked up right now, man. I I literally, I black pilled myself this morning across like seven different just types of videos. I oh, ended what? up with that girl I sent you. What, you what black- is black pill? Oh, yeah, right. what's black, black pill? Black pilling is like kill yourself. Red pilling. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Black pilling's like it's like red pilling to the extent like you, that you, you want to red pill yourself to the extent where you hit the level of black pills, and it's just basically like there's no po- everything's so fun nihilist. Dude, to, somebody posted sort of, that, chick, but it's like, that little girl on the Reddit that was yeah, like, dude, little she was girl like on the making Reddit? fun of Islam. They're really yeah, it's like mostly child pornography. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We only fuck. We fucks heavy with child porn. Yeah. <laughs> no, this lady. It's just <laughs> well, it's Pride yeah, Month. It's, you know? it's a it's a fourteen year old girl just who like. I, I was telling my friend. I'm like, I don't know. It's like writer. retarded, like naked women end up in your guys' feet. Oh, it's like, mean, like I don't know what's yeah, ending up in people's feet. We're getting yes. the yeah, trickle yeah, yeah. down effect Dude, of that. Jesus did you open Christ! That? What that thing I said? Yes, you? hilarious. Dude. Yeah, that shit's weird. What? It's, it's it's weird and like it's weird the way it's produced and like. People are like, oh, you know, even if she does have a writer, it's funny. It's like, no, it's just weird. It's like a bizarre it's thing. It's very strange, it's dude. It's just like like 13-year-old girl that produces these sort of like kind of, yeah, red-pilled videos about like, you it's know, like Western chan. culture just, yeah. and, and, and shit. But like the jokes are... But the friend zone doesn't exist. You're just a faggot. Just because... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's nuts. She made one that was like anti-Islam. That was her wearing like a fucking burqa. And oh, my shit. gosh. It yeah, nuts, it's very, dude. very like purposely incendiary. Like she like really it's like 4chan. It's just a 14 year old girl reading 4chan. Well, wow. trying to like mm. quit school. Apparently it bothers me because a child is more productive than I am. <laughs> dude, I know. It's good she figured it out soon. It's good writing, yeah. Dude. Like when I heard about those African girls that invented a generator made out of piss, it pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I could have been doing that. Yeah, for real. Fuck these dumb ass kids. Somebody made it for them. Their dad did it for them. <laughs> Think dad set them up? Science fair. Cameroonian science fair. We make a generator. <laughs> yeah, we made a house out of doo doo. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> I could have. Done that. This fucking volcano, <laughs> fucking stupid doo doo house. <laughs> yeah, I blackpill myself pretty hard. I started getting into the sinking of Lusitania. Yeah, oh, get That's into that, cool. bro, dude. I, I was like, because I was, I wanted, to, I was like looking up stuff for like a like you a. You watch Boardwalk Empire? 
a yeah. little bit. I, I did see a little bit of well, that. Like, he, like when he goes to enlist, they, he tells him like he tells the guy like he's enlisting because his brother was on the Lusitania or whatever, and they let him in because he was like n- not four Fs, but there was some reason he couldn't enlist. But then you find out at the end of the season, the real reason is because his mom got him drunk and had sex <laughs> with him. him. And- <laughs> 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 that hot mom, that oh, fucked me up. Watching so it. hot. And I'm like, damn, I want my mom to be her, but then fuck me. Yeah, you at know? college. Yeah. <sighs> That yeah. was ahead of the fucking stepmom phase. What, uh, Boardwalk Empire? That fucking, that fuck scene in Boardwalk Empire. That's yeah. eternal, dude. Stepmom, nice, hot stepmom bro. is just an eternal. They got archetype. drunk at a fucking party, like a college party. Yeah. Was that the finale? And then this... she bedded him. Nice. Whew. Damn, dude. Yeah, I can. Pl- I was like looking up, I was like, uh, I wanted to write a sketch about a dude, like an A&E interve- intervention, where the dude just uh, was like addicted to black pills, and then he like black pills the entire crew. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I ended up like, I'm gonna do research for this and just watch conspiracy videos. All so wait, on the Lusitania, did you find out they did have arms on there, right? Scuba divers found arms. Yeah, they had guns so on there. I was there. trying to like do. So research. the Germans were right to sink that fucking thing. Yeah, I, I was doing research, <laughs> yeah. like laughing about it, and then I ended up just calling Spade for like an hour, and be like, dude, this is fucking crazy. And dude, the British were kind of like, yeah, morning. sink it, please sink that, dude. Well, Get they, the U.S. The, involved. The whole thing that they were claiming is that the fuck, who was it? More, J.P. Morgan was like sending out war bonds, and then England. He was Which stands for Jewish person Morgan, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Jewish people, that's the most important part of the conspiracy. Yeah. What's, what's Rothschild? It was for? in front of our eyes the whole time. <laughs> yeah, so he was selling war bonds, and then England was about to lose. They're so like, we have to get America involved. And America was like unanimously like, nah, we're cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. had a ton of Germans. All right, you guys want to go to England? And they we put a what? bunch of bombs. In America there. had a ton of like German, uh, Irish people. They're like, we're not going to fucking help England. No, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's also America was mostly non inter. Well, I guess not after World War One, but that uh, was it. That's what they yeah, said. That was, it was all that broke. It's the pretty isolationist back. going yeah. into that. Well, no. So then they did that shit with the main before that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah but that was like wasn't that false fake? Flags. That was yeah, yeah. another fake one. <laughs> <laughs> that was the thing I was reading about it. It used to be funny and then like I I just went down this YouTube hole where I was just like, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Yeah, what percentage main... of the conspiracy theories that you read do you believe? Well, well these believe aren't any. even conspiracy. You don't believe like, any of them? That's, Lucy Tinney's not a conspiracy that's, theory. Yeah, that's real. They, oh, not that, but like do you say like you go into like all these like black black pilled shit? Like is a lot of it conspiracy theories or no? A lot of, I mean, dude, we, I think we've been propagandized to the point where, like, no one can tell what's real anymore. Here's why 9-11 right. yeah. isn't, like, uh, like fake, because, like, we can just bomb countries with impunity and people don't give a shit anymore. Yeah. Like, you know, they have that. Even, like, people that are into conspiracy theories would be like, which countries are we bombing again? It's like, I don't know. Nobody think, has any idea. I think seven of them. I think <laughs> Yeah. yeah, dude. I don't yeah. know. That's the thing. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I just like watching it because it is. I remember, dude. Remember the Ring of Power came out way back when. <laughs> there was the, it was the very first one that came out. I was like, a conspiracy theory movie or something. It was a DVD. There oh was my a god, DVD no! That made its way around. I saw that at twenty three and was just like, oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> I fucking freaked. That, that like knocked me off what my axis. About? The same, the same old song, dude. About like about the, the, Jays? C- the central banks. They never get in the Jews. They go central banks. <laughs> they just circle that. Yeah, they go central banks. Yeah. And they go the into thing, that whole thing. It does like raise questions. It's like, why don't they ever involve the Jews in the conspiracy theory? Oh, they do. If you watch enough, I of know. Them, dude, it, it all comes down to that. You go, oh, God, you close your YouTube, you slap around. Like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> They got me again. Because it's like, if you're going to start, you might as well go full tilt. You know what I mean? No, they like the way, they like kind of, it's like the, like a drain thing. You're out in the outer realm of it and you go, all right, yeah. I can believe this. And all of a sudden it's like, and here's another Jewish guy. And this guy was, there's a quick thing about the Jews. And you're like, all right, I see what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guy's got me again. I thought I was looking up history. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you were. If you look up history, you're going to end up being anti <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, no, there is a lot of it in there that's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, dude. They've yeah. got me a bunch of times. But yeah, I don't know. I The flat earth thing is hilarious how they're like, well, clearly if the earth was a ball, how would water stick to a ball? We don't believe, they don't believe in gravity. Yeah. Well, they're the like, whole idea behind the flat earth conspiracy is that if they can get you to believe that the earth is round, they can get you to believe anything. Yeah. So by actively denying, it's sort of this like – uh, 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 like uh, I don't know, like first order conspiracy theory, where if you can convince yourself the Earth's flat, then you can like reprogram yourself to not believe any of the lies you've been told to by that's true, been told by authority figures. But it's Damn. fucking retarded. I mean, the fl- no one ever thought there was a flat Earth that was like uh that was like uh, uh like uh sort of like retconned into like dark age thinking mm-hmm. in like the 1800s it's like nobody ever really thought the earth was fucking flat yeah it was a dome oh above yeah the flat earth yeah. oh right right well with the flat earth like when they're like talking about columbus and shit where they're like he thought he was going to sail off the 
no, end of the didn't. world. It's like, no, he no, knew, he though, he, yeah. everybody knew the no one earth was, like, was a sphere. Fun to, really? a trip yeah, they yeah, would have yeah, done yeah. if they thought they were going to fall off the end of the earth. there's a good amount of people. If there was enough, if there was enough people now, there's probably a huge amount of no, people. No, no, no. 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 How it's charming, like charismatic like, is the person who's convincing <laughs> people that the fucking... <laughs> it would be like this. It would be like if, like, 700 years from now, there's, like, an advertising campaign that says, like, you know, in the 60s, they thought the moon was made out of cheese. Yeah. And no one knew until they went there or whatever. Yeah. And then people were like, did you know that for 500 years they thought the moon yeah. was made out of cheese? Yeah, yeah. It's like, no, that was like essentially a joke. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't think the fucking earth was flat. <laughs> well, I don't know. I came across a conspiracy theory. Have you guys seen Science Test Faith? My stepdad showed me it. It's about a piece of communion wafer that turned into actual skin. Yeah. Nice. Jesus' skin. And a was scientist that, proved it that, it was, that it was beaten. It was white. It was white. It specifically, it was a, it was <laughs> it a little piece a of skin that was skin. just big enough to <laughs> say white person on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not Damn, so a communion turned into skin? Yeah, yeah. Science, yeah. Scientists proved that it turned into, it had blood vessels. And not only that, that it was uh, beaten skin. It was traumatized skin. Damn. So just, I don't know. So if you guys want to eat it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I didn't watch it. Fucking faggot I didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone eat it? Oh, I don't think so. I would have gobbled it. I would have gobbled well, I mean, as a Catholic, that's nothing new. Right, yeah, right, right, right. Every single right. time, it's flesh. I've seen multiple. <laughs> yeah, I've seen multiple. I've got like toenails and shit eating that, dude. Yeah. Every Reminds me of time. like that gold Blood. member when he's eating like the skin, but that's just <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I mean that's shit, yeah. That's, that's a, nothing that's new to miracle. us. That's just a miracle. That's a standard Catholic miracle. <laughs> every that's what all of our dumb parents believe for sure is that that actually happens every time. Like that's the real body of Christ right now. Yeah, they never sold me on it fully. What's right. the, what's the argument? It's it's consubstantiation versus transubstantiation. The idea that it like actually turns into the body of Christ, or like from a metaphysical standpoint, yeah. like the that's yeah. Trans is like the like. Definitely eating the body. Yeah. Is con like the symbolic understanding? I think so. I don't know. I, I haven't. Yeah, that's yeah. weird. Just I don't give like, a shit. It's just look, like, I know it's not the real body, but it's sick to pretend this is a real body. <laughs> yeah. right. Fair enough. Well, I don't think it's pretending. It's, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I kind of like the flatter thing. You get to, you just make yourself believe anything. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, dude. How does a fucking water stay on a ball? These are the questions you got to ask. True. How come that Asian couldn't get up that curb? <laughs> exactly, dude. That's because the earth was flat. Mm -hmm. you, think, you think you like uh, it was gravity, round, he think gravity got glitched on them? So you're, well, that's so. why they have better balance, because their face is the same shape as the earth. <laughs> <laughs> They you think that, that comes into play? Instead of calling them moon phase, they call them earth phase. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair theory. Hey, what's up, earth phase? It's actually kind of an unfair advantage. Well, excuse me, don't you mean moon phase? <laughs> no, I'm like a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> Here, let me talk to you for a second. I got some YouTube videos I want to show you. I've, oh I've seen God. dudes definitely like come in and... Um, just like put up points and be like, no, no, I'll show you the, I'll show you the YouTube video on that dude. And they'll be like, and anyway, next thing, next thing, I'm like, no, I got the YouTube video on it. And so they'll definitely hold it up as like, that's reality. I dated that one girl, one date who was basically trying to convince me that like Germany was fucked up and Hitler wasn't bad in terms of economic Damn. stuff. And I was like, you know, I'm like, have you, do you tell this to anybody? And she was like, dude, me and my dad watch the YouTube video all the time. She's like, the first time we watch it, my dad cried. And I was like, it's <laughs> <laughs> a Puerto Rican lady, by the this way. Whoa, time, really? I yeah. was right. It's a Puerto Rican lady. Dude. Something about him. Just, How old was she? <laughs> just one YouTube video. I knew it. It's got like 48 <laughs> views. This guy's crying <laughs> in his living room. Dude, exactly. That, that killed me. Her dad, was, literally, again, it was a Puerto Rican lady. Her dad watched it and was just like, I guess was so moved. Like, oh my God, I've been lied to my whole life. Hitler was a good guy. <laughs> There's a lot of people buzzing around on like 75 IQs who just watch that and go like <laughs> <laughs> the more sophisticated stuff. Gets I like made. that they have a 75 IQ. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's probably somebody with Down syndrome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like nine, eight, close eight, eight, as eight, close eight, as you nine. can get without having yeah. that extra chromosome. Can you, imagine, can you imagine being retarded and watching YouTube? Being retarded, being <laughs> racist. Yeah, being Well, people with Downs are like dogs, where they'll like bark at black dudes if they see them. Yeah. <laughs> Downs will get you. Only if you're, only if their if their parent mister? is scared yeah. of them, yeah, yeah, they yeah, sense yeah. it. It's like, oh, my dad is scared of this person, so now I'm gonna bark. <laughs> Instead of barking, it's just "Hey, Mister" repeatedly. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mister. Hey, Mister. He runs away. Comes back up to him. Runs away. Circles the parents' legs. Hey, Mister. Hey, Mister. <laughs> Yeah, dude. That's... <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, we're in a sorry state with the YouTube stuff. We were talking last time about the guy getting brain. Now people are coming out like, I was brainwashed by YouTube. It's not my fault. No, no, no. Now there's like <laughs> deep fakes are coming out. You see Zuckerberg's deep fake? No. Yeah. People have been deep faking all these people, and it was Zuckerberg. What does that based. mean? 
Deep fakes now. Videos of Mark Zuckerberg getting fucked. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. It's oh. like someone could take a video of you and then record your mouth moving to work. Damn. And like, Damn. like what Conan used to do. Yeah. Conan was a deep faker. Yeah, just his mm-hmm. mouth moving. Oh, Conan okay, used to okay. release videos of celebrities getting fucked <laughs> <laughs> on the show. It was like a bit. That they Surprised he's still in such good graces. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, dude, we're, sl- we're sliding into just pure propaganda. Damn. It's not going to get anybody. For who, though? Everybody. Yeah. 100%. I think we're being destabilized from outside countries. Well, I mean, I go back home, and I'm like, I look at the yeah, stuff that like pops up do, on... Do, we do that all the time. Oh, we do it all the time, yeah. yeah. I just don't want anyone doing it to us. <laughs> I need to know. I need you to watch shit with, like, Mike Pompeo trying to, like, you know, prevent Corbin from be, be, colluding with fucking Israel to rig Britain's election. I mean, that's like, excessive. You know, but, <laughs> Wait, colluding with who? Israel. Oh. The Israeli lobby. Sure. I mean, like, like Trump meeting with, like, you know, I Jewish love interest Israel. groups and they're worried you about Germany. Like, I love Israel. I love Israel's lobby. Take a, take a Zuckerberg <laughs> picture with the flag. I will, like, I dude. stand with Israel. I do stand with Israel. What do you, like, love about Israel? Just fucking settling. Oh, okay. Settlements and shit. Colonial yeah. power. Colonialism. Love colonialism, dude. Yeah. <laughs> well, theirs was kind of because, like an because assist. of Colonial Williamsburg. <laughs> I went. To yeah. Colonial Williamsburg. Everybody says colonialism sucks, but I went there and there's like a blacksmith. It's it was pretty awesome. tight. Yeah, I, I'd like turtle soup. Yeah, you get to make your own Ooh. like you yeah. make your own hoe cakes from from cornmeal. It's great. I don't know. That seems like a lot better than whatever's going on in Vietnam. <laughs> I got in trouble at Williamsburg. We went on a field trip in fifth grade, and they made me count bricks. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I was laughing during the fucking They wanted to see if you could. They're, they're like, like, can this, this kid fucking count? Punishment. <laughs> they made me go count bricks. What? Yeah. That's fucking weird. Damn. I, I, yeah. Are you sure, like, the chaperone wasn't molesting one of the other kids? Yeah. <laughs> 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 me, and, uh, me and Marcus are going to go behind the glass. Put him in the stocks. Show him, yeah. Put, the, put a kid in the and stocks. Show him a go to town, dude. Feels like. <laughs> you ever, do you ever get hit in school? No. In school... Like by a teacher? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I caught, I caught a smack. You caught I a caught, smack I I by who? I smacked the principal. Are you 70 years old? Dude. <laughs> 30, 30. Half. I had a teacher kick a kid. Did you really? Yeah, he was rolling on the ground. Whoa. School, dude. Yeah. I got oh, dragged yeah, in dude. the office by my ear, but that's about as physical as it ever that's, got. No, that's, that's, that's pretty, pretty physical. Painful. I would call that in the club, dude. I got smacked by the principal for jumping out of the uh, fire escape of the bus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're doing the drill, and I jumped on someone. Oh. The lady literally pulled me up, smacked my butt, and sent me inside. Oh, like, okay. When I heard smack, I thought it was in the face. A smack on the butt. Oh, so I mean, smack on a butt is equally problematic, dude. It's equally no, it's not. No, a smack not. to the face is way more can, traumatic than a smack no way, to the butt. No Her finger went like, in my butthole. No, okay, no, well, <laughs> all right, well, no you're using a different word. Like a supportive smack in the face. <laughs> she goosed me. <laughs> <laughs> Baseball coach is right. like, going to be like, "Great fucking job, <laughs> yeah, dude." Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. If you're a mobster, you can be like, eh. "Yeah, but you're not a mobster." You're a My principal goosed. I want to state for the record, my principal goosed me. Now that I remember it, she went like this and gave me like a fucking full goose. Yeah. Damn. I forgot about that. Second grade teacher, fucking this kid was laying on the ground having a tantrum and he kicked her. And she's like, you kick me, I'll fucking kick you. And she kicked him like hard. He Damn. was crying. She kicked him. He was okay, laying Okay, well, it was ground. an eye for an eye. That's a fair. A second grader and she kicked him. Pretty sick. Like a, was it like a stomp or like a, just a. No, it was a kick to the gut. What? <laughs> he was laying on his side. <laughs> well, yeah, we had like a lunch helper who like just like openly beat a kid in the recess yard and everyone was just like. What are you doing? She's like, no, this is what I do for my kids. She's like, no, you like you can't hit this kid. And she was not allowed to like monitor recess anymore. Yeah, she was a big dog too. Especially she since she works in the lunch department. <laughs> she's a she's like, I want him to be better at lunch. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when he's a grown man? And he's eating all like rocks and grass. <laughs> <laughs> fucking everyone's looking at him weird. These are skills you need for later in life. Is to have fucking sloppy joes. You don't learn lunch. this shit. It was, <laughs> it was lunch. The cafeteria recess. lady thinking they're a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I got a. T- Teach these faggots how to eat lunch. <laughs> yeah, she was banned. Nice. Getting banned in like 95 from a volunteer recess lady, you had to fuck up, dude. Damn. Mm. She jacked this kid. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was playing. I was just like, okay. I was just playing. I was Damn. like, right, not phased. Hitting kids, hitting strangers' kids is the fucking move. I want to start a school where you can do it. I'm it's back. hard not to I remember to this sometimes. fat guy telling me one time, and like I wasn't friends with him, and I didn't like him, and he didn't know. He was like a, <laughs> a, a comedian. And... Uh, <laughs> He was like telling me about like being in line at Popeyes, and he's like, "There's this obnoxious kid behind me. This woman's not controlling her child." And he's like, "And I tell you, the sound a five-year-old makes when a 350-pound man sneakily shifts his weight onto that child's foot is heavenly." Jesus Christ! So I'm like, "I'm like, wait, you mean to tell me you?" 
like spitefully physically abuse someone else's child because they were annoying you in line at the fried chicken restaurant. And he was like, damn. Well, yeah. You know, he thought it'd be like, I mean, a if cool, you put it that yeah, way. Thought, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. Like a cool story to tell. <laughs> I didn't know that was a, in the fat guy's arsenal, just a foot crush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, totally. <laughs> That's like a big move for us. <laughs> <laughs> just a foot crush on a kid? Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Or if they're laying down, you stand on them and walk over them. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. That's another move. Now, damn, now I know, though. If I ever get my foot crushed, I'm going to be, if it's a hefty gentleman, I'm going to be like, all right. What did I do? Mm-hmm. I know what the fuck you're up to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Here comes a fucking goose, dude. Here comes a power. You'd have to goose him hard, dude. Get through like a 350 pound ass. You have to Iger uppercut him. <laughs> did you like? Did you like question his the way he crushed this guy's foot? No, I mean I had limited interaction with the guy. I was like, oh yeah, nice. Yeah, hurting a child. That's <laughs> yeah, a cool yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't really I, do it back to him either. Because all yeah. he wants is that affirmation. Once he doesn't get to it, you yeah, know, that guy like, really oh. sucked. He was like, uh, like so full of himself. He taught comedy classes oh, and gosh. just did shitty one liners. That's just a, that's <laughs> toxic obesity, dude, at its finest. <laughs> yeah, just using your fat, throwing privilege. your weight around. <laughs> yeah. like, well, I'm gonna use my 350 pounds to crush this fucking kid. Damn. Uh, I'm sorry. Teaching a comedy class is just a guarantee. You suck. <laughs> yeah. Almost. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Probably, but God, money's nice though. True, you know? I did it. True. I got kicked out of Helium for it. For, for teaching, teaching a comedy class? Yeah, they, it fit. Hit me up and was like, "Will you do this?" And I was like, "I'll, yeah, I'll do it for a thing." They're giving me like thirty-five bucks an hour. Yeah. I did. Uh, I had everyone come in, and I was like, "Look, don't ever pay for one of these ever again." Totally, exactly. <laughs> that's like, the that's the class. And like, what are we gonna do? I was like, just go up and all do five minutes. We don't have five minutes. I was like, tough. Just go up there and talk for five minutes. Right, and right. Like, Can we pay for this? I'm like, yeah. I told you, you started hitting them. I did. I started. I brought down <laughs> yeah. the fucking board. Yeah, then he told you boot. to come over and step on their feet. <laughs> yeah, I was just smacking their fingers with bamboo sticks like an Asian piano teacher. <laughs> um, uh, nothing yet. I'm going to wait another minute here. Nice. But, uh, yeah, I, I taught, like, defensive driving for a while. But did, it was you, like, did you do was comedy like, defensive comedy driving defensive at CAP? Driving. Well, yeah, they were like, well, like, try to do jokes. I was like, no. <laughs> Hold on. You taught defensive driving? Yeah. At a comedy club. At a comedy club. What in is, Austin. Well, what you just is that? play videos and you read out of it. Like, and I, I, well, tight. I don't think I get in trouble for it now, but like you're supposed to, because it's all like done through like DPS or, yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like you're supposed to attend all these classes and like like observe classes. It's like this whole like qualification process that like my roommate just like forged all the documents and like, you know, like set it up for me. Sure. And then, like, because he taught defensive driving, and like, it's like some extra money on the side. He was like, "Hey, um, can you teach defensive driving on Monday?" And I thought I meant he meant like come with him to defensive driving. I was like, "Oh yeah, sure, I'll come with." Yeah. And he was like, "All right." And then it was like the <laughs> night before he was leaving. You know, I didn't know he was leaving. He's like, "Hey, we should go by tonight to the club, and I can show you where everything is." I'm like, "Cool." So we go to like Cap City, and it's like eleven o'clock at night. And he's like, uh, yeah, so here's a DVD player. Here's this, like, this is a filing cabinet just filled with shit, like a, like a milk crate with, like, papers and stuff. He's like, here's all the paperwork and stuff, and this is the binder with all the stuff in it. And he's like, there's a coffee maker. You put this in. Here's where the lights are. And he's like, so, yeah, I, I usually lock the door around 8.15. You don't let, let anyone in after that. Damn. And he's like, you should be good to go. And I was like, oh, okay. And then, like, it was, like, either that night or the next morning, I wake up. I'm like, so are we heading over there? He's like, oh, I'm going out of town. And I was like, wait, so that was, like. Instructions? Those were the instructions for <laughs> teaching eight hours of a defensive <laughs> driving course. Is, Here's where the stuff is. And, like, Damn. this is the coffee maker. And he's like, yeah, you figure it out. You know, I was like, I guess. How'd it go? Well, I went there, and it was like, I'm making the coffee, and then it's already, like, people are showing up. So I didn't even have time to, like, look at this stuff. And then there's, like, 20 people there, and it's, like, 8 o'clock, and I'm like, welcome to defensive driving. (laughs) 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 Just put on comedians in cars getting coffee, Well, I did. I I went through. I played played every DVD, and, like, half of them are just, like, Looney Tunes videos (laughs) of, like, yeah, like, 1940s, like, you know, Donald Duck, like, gets into a traffic accident, and it's like... What did Donald do wrong? And I'm like, 
okay, what did you guys learn from that video? Mm. You know, and who the know. fuck takes? Do you get like points off your insurance or something, or like insurance? Points off your insurance, but or well, you, yeah, money you get, off, you, yeah, money off your insurance is also like a, like or it just doesn't go like up, right? Education or whatever. If you if you you know have like because I had to take it one time. That's, you know, uh-huh. I I took it with when Andy Ritchie was teaching it. Oh, uh, okay. And uh, like I know Andy, I'm friends with him, and I'm in the class, and Andy's like going into his stand up bits. And I'm like, <laughs> Oh, Rough. I'm like, don't, yeah, I'm like, don't turn it do. off. Were, were all the people taking the class where they're trying to be funny? Because um, it's like people probably no, go to that like. Because no. I I took a defensive driving class and it was a regular one, not even at a comedy club. And there were a couple people in the class mm. that were trying to make jokes and be the funny <laughs> ones. And I'm like, can we just get through the day? <laughs> I had to take yeah. it. I had to take it actually. I got my license suspended. I had to take it like years prior. Yeah. And uh, and there was like it was an African guy teaching <laughs> it. And there was a girl sitting next to me, but it was, we were there for like nine hours. And the African guy, he like had this verbal tick where he would start like every other sentence with for example. Oh. Even if it didn't like, you know, he'd be like, when you are driving, for example, and you come to a forward stop, <laughs> for example, you have to decide who <laughs> is going to go first, for example. And, uh, you know, and like, so I just had like a, a note, like a note card and I started like tallying every time he like said it. And then I was like dividing it by how many minutes had passed so I could like average out like Damn. how many times he. He said, for example, per minute. And there's this girl like just weeping next to me because she recognizes that I'm just mocking this. <laughs> but then there was like this like there was like two like there was like a like a middle aged white dude that was like relatively kind of like a big guy or, you know, kind of like a hot headed guy, but probably had like a job doing like sales for some type of computer thing that he has no idea what it is. He's just Damn, like, I did that before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One, of those, one of those guys. It's like, yeah, I sell shit. I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> I thought I, I was selling it. cars. Yeah. They'd be like, what is, "What's the horsepower?" I'm saying, like, oh, "Oh yeah, did you sell cars?" And look, I don't. Yeah, I sold cars, but it's like, yeah, look, oh I don't know God. what this. I don't know any of this computer so shit. Funny. It's gay to me, but I sell. <laughs> I call a guy and be like, uh, "What are your thoughts on the cloud?" And they're like, "What? What are you talking about?" I'm yeah. Like, you know, like the. Uh, like information <laughs> in the air. Yeah. yeah. Like, what do you think about? It? They're like, I don't know, man. Damn, teaching a defensive drive well, class. You should have opened with a compilation, of, like a live leak compilation. Yeah. <laughs> like a live leak of people just getting wrecked. Like, I know. Six, <laughs> sound, well, like this, here comes the boom. There was also, the there's also this, yeah, like, uh, the boom. <laughs> there was this guy from like Portugal or something who was also like kind of like a bigger dude wearing like a leather jacket and he had this shitty hair. <laughs> and at one point, at one point, he said something about. It. He's like, you know, that's like the problem with America is that uh, you know, like blah 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 blah, and the fucking white guy's like don't start that shit in here. He's like, you don't like it, you can fucking leave. If you got a problem with that, you can talk to me. And he was like, about that. Yes. He's like, he's, he's like, because I'm about to knock yeah. your ass the fuck out. And it's like, this is how you got into defense. They just all had, ro- they all had road rage in the class. Yeah. 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 The African guy is like, he's like, yes, yes, for example. He's just not blowing right past it. Not doing it. These guys are about to throw bows over some like dumb, like, you know, 9-11 bullshit. They, yeah, he's this guy's like he's just heated off 9/11 still. Yeah, dude. You know, it's, it's like one of those, you know, like just a faded flag on the back of his car. Well, see everyone like, when they're like, that Let's gave take me a... purpose is being mad about 9/11. <laughs> Like, I didn't do anything afterwards. I didn't volunteer my time. I just became racist, and that's my contribution. <laughs> oh, Never forget. Anyways. That's uh, so fucking funny. But, yeah, hey, if your dick doesn't work, uh, check out BlueChew.com. BlueChew.com sponsors this podcast and it's probably soon to be. Yeah, hopefully, Matt and Shane's secret podcast. Yeah. Um, have you guys taken, have you gotten any from Gas Digital? No. They're great. It's, uh, it's generic, branded, because the thing is, is you think that, they're only for people that need them. Mm. But the truth is, is literally anyone can take. It's a medicine that everyone can take, um, whether they need it or not. And it only, you know. Just in case you want a boner. Yeah, there might be side effects, but I doubt it. <laughs> um, it's a performance enhancement for the bedroom. I haven't experienced any side effects. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I haven't, and I've got, like, really bad heart problems. What? Yeah, I'm, like, kind of in the, the, the key demo for people who shouldn't be fucking around with What just, you got heart-wise? I was just, like, really high blood pressure. Mm-hmm. It was, like, 170 over 110 last year. Damn. I know. It's pretty cool. <laughs> you yeah. heard some of that blood from your heart. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. All, all, all the doctor had to say was, like, lay off the cocaine. But we'll see about that. <laughs> Not only am I staying on the cocaine, I'm now on Blue Chew's chewable with the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, and they can work faster than pills, up to twice as fast. The chewables from Blue Chew can be taken on a full or empty stomach. 
nice. You know, so you eat them before or after you eat the pussy. Can you smash <laughs> it up and snort it? Um, Definitely. Well, yeah, but then they're not chewable anymore. Mm, okay. So, yeah, why don't you just <laughs> shut up? <laughs> <laughs> just f- don't fuck up. Yeah, you keep yapping, he's going to need a blue chip. <laughs> what if girls take it? I'm going to have to get hard to feel better. fucking clip fat. Probably. It yeah, does. it probably makes your pussy probably. swell Turns up. into like yeah. anime funtinari. <laughs> <laughs> I, my, I only took like the Viagra one once, but it like made my like because it makes all your like mucous membranes like fuck up, or, like or like swell up. So like I felt like I've been <laughs> like stung by bees. My what? Like, nose was all swollen. You so you can fuck, but you look fucking dumb while you're doing it. Yeah, I, I couldn't, I couldn't yeah. breathe through my nose. I was like, you know, <laughs> Damn. which is so you have good. to mouth that's, breathe. Hold on, but yeah. that's a good thing. <laughs> Bluetooth says that's how you know it's working. <laughs> uh, the, uh, they have an online physician, the, the, and the consultation is free, so it's cheaper than paying to go to the doctor. Perfect. Uh, and it only takes a few minutes to connect with a Bluetooth affiliated physician. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, which I imagine is like Dr. <laughs> Nick from The Simpsons. <laughs> Everybody can take these pills. <laughs> um, and if you qualify, you get prescribed online quickly. No in-person doctor visit, no awkward conversation, no waiting in line at the pharmacy. They ship directly to your door in discreet packaging. So, you know, I mean, it, it doesn't really. It says custom medical group. So <laughs> uh-huh. I, I don't know who's going through your mail, but they're like, oh, yeah, this is probably just custom medicine <laughs> and not something weird. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ships from a company called Definitely Books Incorporated. <laughs> Definitely just magazines. Um, the chewables from Blue Chew are prescribed online by a doctor and made in the USA. They're not, you know, it's not Chinese. Better not. Um, Hell yeah. Yeah. Not be, Union, Union. Union, mm-hmm. Union, real blue collar union guys yep. making this stuff. You know, <laughs> huge leather jackets pressing the Do to get yeah. it. Right. Uh, Bruce Springsteen and Billy Joel themselves <laughs> have written several songs about the dick pill factory workers. Gives you confidence in bed every time. You and your partner will love it. Chew and do it. So here's a great deal for you guys. Visit bluechew.com and get your first order free. When you use promo code CUMTOWN, just pay $5 shipping. That's B L U E CHEW.com. Promo code CUMTOWN. Town, C-U-M-T-O-W-N. Boom. That's a read, fellas. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, let's see Lewis do something like that. He has to stop and do it oh, at the man. end. <laughs> no, he does it all in the beginning, but it's an advertisement mm-hmm. for himself. Yeah. I always like to <laughs> imagine ten minutes. <laughs> when I'm watching Lewis do the reads that they're just like pictures on the piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a house and a dog. He's like... Uh, house dog beer. <laughs> Brought, to you by, by, yeah. Brought to you by what's this? Oh, it's me, Lewis. <laughs> so wait, yeah. you take blue chew? I have, yeah. Do have you taken it? Usually when I'm drunk. I'm scared, I'm, I'm scared for the heart stuff. I feel like I'll have like a erect heart attack and I'll be found. Just, like, but I thought you got black pilled. Aren't you just ready to die? Yeah, your dick no, gets, I'm not. Your I'm, dick I'm gets hard when oh, you die, okay. anyways. Yeah, I'm not a nihilist at all. Oh, oh, no, oh okay. I'm an eternal optimist. Even if you watch Black Mirror for more than a few episodes in a row? I, f- I liked the last season. Oh, I haven't seen I it yet. I love that first episode. They yeah, came they out fucking just strong. The, with the new season? Did you see the first episode? Did no, is it the one you were telling yeah, us? Yeah, I was just telling them about Oh, God, that's so Can't fucking stop funny. About it, man. That thing's in my brain. It. God, are you guys all gay? Years. Are all men that I know gay? Yes, definitely. If, if me and Matt could. Well, the creative ones that are funny. Nice to hang out with. If a guy makes you laugh. Shit! Don't fuck your dad, dude, for mm-hmm. sure. Uh. <laughs> yeah, and he, if a guy's funny, he's definitely gay. Really? For sure, dude. And then time turns men gay. Yeah, no, Over that's time, true. Time turns men, and, you know, just no. Like yeah, women. time and women turn men mm-hmm. gay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> time with women. Yeah, the, the Heming- famous Hemingway quote. Time and women turn yeah. men gay. Yep. <laughs> the son also Wait, really? Once yeah. he turned gay, he killed himself. That's why he, did it. Yeah. he was looking outside. He saw a hot guy. He was like, "Fuck this!" Wow. <laughs> He's in the middle of the ocean. He's like, "Good, there's no guys out here." <laughs> Just <laughs> swordfish. I don't have to worry about it. It's like, swordfish and hot Cubans. God damn it! There's yeah. hot Cubans. The, the Coast Guard's like, "Are you okay, sir?" He's so like, "Fuck sailors." <laughs> 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 Oh my gosh! Yeah, with- know that, <laughs> know that. Any if, any guy who's like funny and is not like coming home being looked like a picture of like a Ferrari on his laptop. <laughs> like, One day it'll be mine. Ugh. 
They're gay. <laughs> well, I don't know. Ferraris are pretty cool. <laughs> do, you have, do you have a laptop wallpaper? Uh, no, I have a. It's it, both he of my. He nailed it. He nailed it. <laughs> it's the moon. Oh, it's the moon. Yeah, yeah. classic pick. Dude. Moon, totally sick. gay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You love the cosmos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you love the cosmos. You are definitely the cosmos. The moon is like. You right just want to get to the moon with all the other dudes because that's who's going to the moon is other dudes. Yeah, sure. that's, that's, that's true. why we're trying to get to Mars. I do like it. women can't make that trip. The moon is still the only oh, place that's just for white once. people. Your period would explode on. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> All synced up by the moon. You yeah. look like Mars up there. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like when, when Matrix, when Neo goes to that room and meets the architect. There's just some old bitch that's like, you, you've been fucked up on purpose. <laughs> that's the source for them. <laughs> oh, definitely on the moon. Uh, I've been dropping little breadcrumbs this whole episode. I'm finally, we're finally here. <laughs> About what, being gay or wanting to go to the Yeah, moon? we're all gay and there's a lady controlling periods on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> well, same, yeah, you guys you guys just try to escape us. Women don't even want to be around each other. That's why lesbians are like, we're in this together, right? <laughs> That's why they're so commitment-based. They're like, you're doing this too, right? We're just, we're in this together. Dude, I had a lesbian try to fight. you do it, I'll do it. Morning. Yeah? At the gym. She tried to come up and bully you me. You fucking stud get you? Tried to bully me. Not a stud. Not a stud. This is more of like a... Had been to a bunch of Lilith fairs and now is like looking into like getting a kid. She was pretty jacked. We were same height. If we if you did the specs on us, we had like the same reach, same height. She came up and was like, You done with the uh whatever the bar like the where you do like a squat rack thing? Uh-huh. And I wasn't using it, but I was instructed to stand in front of it so I didn't fall into the mirror by the, the dude who walks around and like tells all the rules. Well what were you doing? I was doing like clean jerk stuff. So I was doing like, you know, movements where I was throwing the weight up over my head. I was being mm. a fucking animal in there at seven in the morning. <laughs> and the guy told Are me Are you throwing the weight down from overhead? Do they have a platform? I wasn't lunky. No, they, it was it's just soft floor, so I have to do it on the floor. It's not a platform, but I every now and again I'll indulge in a fucking weight slam for sure. Yeah, like, yeah slam yeah. and yeah, yeah. step back. I'll, I'll drop them down. To, uh, I don't I don't pick out like from top. I'll like drop it, control, then let go. Mm-hmm. So I'm in there. Throw my shoes off, dude. I'm in there doing all that stuff. <laughs> your shoes off always. See when I do compound movements. So You're I'm like shatter your foot. <laughs> possibly. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, that. yeah, I probably will. So this lady came up. She's like, "Are you using the squat rack?" And I was like, "Well." No, but and I started to explain to her like I have I'm doing compound movements, so I have to, I was instructed to stand in front of this thing. She was like, "Yeah, but are you using it?" It was like, "Dude, you can't have this right now." Like, she, dude, well, she, like but she's not wrong. There's really no reason to be in the squat no, rack because I had to because it's a small gym and everything else was being used. And I'm like, if I move here, I'm not going to have room to do what I'm doing. And she yeah. was right. Like, and, I, and that's what I was saying. I'm like, I hear what you're saying. That's but what like, you tell her. Like, go find me another spot. Come back and I'll yeah, fucking I like, give I, you this. I, like, I literally can't move from the spot I'm in. And I, if I the spot that I, I could go to, I'm not allowed to be there. And the guy know, frankly, I would be annoyed if, like, I'm trying to use the rack and you're just standing two feet in front of it doing cleans. I totally get it. But it, I had no other – my thing was – Because you were still no, using a, a different kind of equipment, just not yeah, the – I, I had, I had the, the barbell, but I couldn't go anywhere else. So she would have – I would have had to stop what I was doing. So then she could use the squat rack, and I'm like, you just have to wait ten minutes. So yeah, is it was a sticky situation. And then I went up afterwards. I'm like, hey, that thing's open. And she kept her back to me and was like, good. <laughs> 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 Fuck you. Damn. I was teed up, dude. Damn. That's nice. But yeah, it, it was. I was in a I was in a weird situation, but at the same time, mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm not going to stop what I'm doing because. And she came up and be like, you using that, and I was like, yeah, I, I'm. Mm-hmm. I got I'll be like ten more minutes. But you're not using the squat rack. It's like, lady, get the fuck out of my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either provide think, me with the solution or go. The right. No way, I'll dude. To, well, I'll look up the gym and, and look at the floor plan. <laughs> well, I'll take you. We'll do, we'll do the floor plan. Anytime fitness, dude. Okay. <laughs> oh, anytime fitness. I'll, so it was I'll take you guys on a tour, dude. And be like, dude, here I, I was over here throwing it over my head. But yeah, man. It was a tough. It was a tough. It was a tough call on my part, but I stood my ground on her. Yeah, just stand your ground. Even if it was, it was Pride Month, though. So she's been getting mm-hmm. a lot of fucking True. yeses. True, she was probably not right. But you're that, funny, no. so you're gay. So you Trying also, it's too. Pride Month for him too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. I should be like, look, I'm gay. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do lesbians and gay guys now, get along? Right? Huh? No, not at all. Okay. Do lesbians we... and gay guys, do they get along? I don't no, know. they're opposites. I was right? like mortal enemies. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. They, I've never seen them. Yeah, yeah, they're further apart than straight men and straight women. Yeah. Huh. Wow. Yeah, because they just like have no reason to deal with each other. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah one, they both wish they were each other. And then they're both flamboyant. Well, gay dudes are flamboyant and lesbians are fucking like, knock it off, the game's on. Yeah. Right, 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 right. You know? <laughs> My favorite type of lesbian, I've said it before, but are like the ones that just like sit on like an overpass and smoke cigarettes. <laughs> like, that gotta, sounds nice. <laughs> like Shirley's, they're on from Yeah, Monster. they're like, we got to get out of here. Let's get out of this town. 
<laughs> Sharon, one of these days we're going to get out of this. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're like six month plan lesbians. <laughs> they're like, we're going to save up money and we're going to fucking get out of here. I wonder what happens if they fuck, ever get out of town. Fuck your dad, Sharon. <laughs> fuck lesbians him. don't get out of town. Yeah. I don't think they do. They yeah, they do. Where... They go, they go, they like, have little workshops out in the suburbs and stuff. Yeah, no, they never I meant get move. out of town. No. Do they ever get Sharon to like out of the roadside no. motel? Oh, oh, oh. It never <laughs> happens. Their dad beats Sharon to death. <laughs> dad beats Sharon to death and the other lesbian has to kill herself. <laughs> it's probably what happened to this lady after I hogged old up lesbians. <laughs> yeah. Old lesbians get out. She's like, yeah, yeah. She's if like, they like divorce their she's husband. She's like, Sharon, mm-hmm. wait here in the hotel. Like New England. I got to go to the gym real quick. I'll be back in 25 <laughs> minutes, and we'll get out of here. She's in the gym waiting for the squat rack, and then she gets back to the motel two hours late, and the father's already broken. And <laughs> and killed told. Sharon, dude. If I knew beating she... Sharon to death, he's drunk. He's like, "What are you, the dark girlfriend?" She's just remembering you doing cleans in the middle of the fucking gym. Gym, using all the equipment at once. <laughs> She's like, fuck that gay guy. <laughs> if I knew she had it with Fuck that hilarious gay guy. <laughs> if I knew she was about to get out of here, I'd be like, oh, by all means, please. Yeah. yeah. She had the know. car loaded up, dude. She did have that look, in her, she had that look in her eyes. They only pack stuff. Like, animals. What's, what's the rush? And she's like, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> like, you know my room. kayak is tied to the top of my Subaru right now. I'm about to go out of town on this trip. <laughs> Subaru's running in the parking lot. <laughs> the shit's on. Yeah, dude, they don't have, lesbians don't have cell phones. So they have to, like, see each other to that's like, a big cause of death in the lesbian community the the lesser rafting? the lesser dyke usually gets left in the car <laughs> <laughs> it, gets, it gets too hot while the other one's handling their power clean it's <laughs> definitely the one power yeah for sure yeah. the no, butch sure. yeah. the butch is in there doing cleans it needs to be yeah that's kind of weird how that happens what how one just like you know becomes the butch one thinks, like a lady yeah, one, bottom one of them turns and into every, Brendan Sagalow and every lesbian couple there's one of them who thinks they can boss me off the squat rack and it's like nah dude get the fuck out of here yeah mm-hmm. I used to go right at a at a like a I thought it was a lesbian coffee shop but I went there recently and I guess it's a regular coffee shop <laughs> at the time there was a lot more lesbians <laughs> I don't know but Bennu and they Austin, got out of town yeah, <laughs> probably dad's broke into the coffee shop. Like, so dad's Barbara broken ribs. at once. <laughs> yeah, where's <laughs> that dad girlfriend? Are you, are you, do you think that's what the uh, what was that bar? The bar raid? Stonewall? Was that what the Stonewall was all about? All dads, the dads played dads in on it. Dads broke in and we're like, what the <laughs> fuck? Knock it off! What are you doing, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> those are mother's pants. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother's been looking for those slacks. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I want to rewatch Boys Don't Cry now. I've never seen I it. Is it. that what you're very more? It's a great movie. No, it's Hillary Swank. Oh, I don't know it. What's that about? It's about like a trans woman that moves to some small town and she starts dating like <laughs> <a> bad moves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> move to a small <laughs> town. It's like a small town starts <laughs> right. dating like <laughs> Chloe Savini, I think, or what? which I'd say her name wrong. Adam correct me on that. And I was pissed <laughs> off because <laughs> I always thought it was Chloe Savini. I guess Severnay, it's like maybe? yeah, Severnay. Some. It's like, yeah. All right, Adam. <laughs> I'm guessing. I don't, I don't even know A-listers. <laughs> I can't yeah. put a face there. Hell yeah. yeah. Will Smith? No. John Cena? No, <laughs> oh, it's, Will, it's Will Smith. Um, so, yeah, she moves to a small town, finds love. Yeah, starts dating, like, yeah, either Chloe Savini or something, and she's got these two brothers. But, she, you know, she's, like, wearing a fake dick the whole time and has, like, a short haircut. So it's kind of like that movie Just One of the Guys, but it's much funnier. Uh, you know, because the brothers find out at the end that it's, like, a, like a, they're like, what, you're a girl? And then they, like, rape her and beat her up. Oh, whoa. That's the ending? I think so, yeah. Yeah, dude. Was if I found out fake... you were a girl, mm. I would fucking immediately beat you and rape you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. If I tricked you with a fake dick, mm. do they show the fake dick in the movie? They do. So just constantly wearing the fake dick the whole time, like just well, like this, I just remember a scene where he's like, she's like hooking up, or he or she—I don't know what the proper, you know—they're hooking up. So it's like Billy Bob Thornton, and then she like sneaks in the fake dick while they're fucking. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! She it, sneaks. That's really fucking which impressive. Way? If yeah. you can sneak a fucking. It's also sexual assault. Is it one of those ones? Oh, that, like, sure, sports? but that's impressive stuff. Is it one of those ones yeah, like, for, like, for, like, yeah. for like drug porn tests? Just so much. No, not a yeah. The one from pornos that just like, yeah. spurred out like a gallon. I want to get. I want to get one of those ones for drug tests, but it's fully erect. <laughs> <laughs> just just, just sitting out of your pants. Yeah, it's like what I like being observed. I don't know. I like being scrutinized by the system. I like a like authoritarian. An oversight and are you allowed to start jerking off having a fake dildo that comes to mind <laughs> <laughs> like what it's real <laughs> 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 you have yeah. to hold those things the whole time. She would have to like double hand hold that the whole time. Yeah. How big is it? Damn. What the, the fake dick in the oh, movie? I saw this movie like 15 yeah, years ago. So I'm sorry, I can't. Fucking. I can't remember. Yeah, <laughs> he'll show her like holding it. 
Yeah, I can't. I mean, the only detail I remember is is her being raped at the end. That was yeah, the kind of. Yeah. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Midnight Cowboy, like the opposite. Yeah, he moves to the big city and kind of similar things. What well, is? You've seen just one of the guys, right? Mm-mm. Oh, it's an '80s comedy. Is that a girl who tries to be yeah, a dude? It's a girl that like pretends to be a dude to like you know because like the guys have it better or whatever. What happens to her? She shows her tits at the end, and they're. Primo. <laughs> <laughs> does everybody accept him? Uh, she finds out that that's a lot better than being remember. a guy. All you have to do is show your tits. When what? I think of just one of the guys, the only thing I remember is the rape scene from Boys Don't Cry. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's the only thing that pops into mind, so I don't really remember anything. Does it just like fade to black after that? Um, she just like... Oh, yeah. That's it? I, I don't I think something happened. I mean, I know it's not a happy ending. No, wow. Because it's a surprise twist because the movie's Whoa. called... Yeah, the movie's okay. called Boys Don't Cry, but and then she cries, she cries at, the end, at the end. So it's like, obviously. So, you Damn, know, it's you're like, a boy, you cry. Yeah, imagine being in the theater, you're watching that movie, you're like, go! <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, did, did you see, mister, did you think that was going to happen? <laughs> no, I'm just saying because of the title. <laughs> no, I, I scream in every movie. It's all right, I have autism. <laughs> Damn, that's a wild movie. I never saw that. Mm-hmm. I, haven't, I didn't know there were so many uh, female to male trans movies in the eighties. Joanna Man, came female out. to man. Yeah. yeah. How, what other ones are there? Was it like what else? No, just no, one no. of the guys. Joanna, just the two Joanna that we Man mentioned. Was later. Opposite, I don't know Joanna Man. Joanna Man was the opposite. Joanna Man was a dude that was in the NBA and then he got kicked out. So then he put on a wig and no, fucking trans, yeah. dominated. Oh, you remember, do you remember oh, the oh. six man? Yeah, yeah. dude, I cried. I cried. I cried. You <laughs> cried in the yeah. six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he has a heart attack from dunking too hard. <laughs> yeah. I got teary. I remember we were watching Happy Gilmore. And I got teary eyed at John's funeral. <laughs> I was like, I'm fucked up, dude. Something's wrong. <laughs> yeah, no. When you're a kid, you like don't understand emotions. So like, you could watch Schindler's List and be like, I don't get it. <laughs> this is like, a, yeah. Chumps falls out the window. And you're like, oh no. <laughs> He's never going to win. <laughs> <laughs> so now the progressive things that people are trying to do, like get people get like trans women into these sports and stuff, was just movies from the 80s as a joke. Pretty much, yeah. So that's fun. I'm all yeah. about it. I'm all about it. I just it. went to the plot for Boys Don't Cry on Wikipedia and scrolled to the last paragraph. Later, John and Tom get drunk and decide to kill Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Lana attempts to stop them, but the pair drive to Candace's remote house where they find Brandon, who has been hiding in a nearby shed. John shoots Brandon under the chin, killing him instantly. Tom shoots Candace in the head as Lana fights with them, begging them to stop. Tom stabs Brandon's lifeless body and tries to shoot Lana, but John stops him. John and Tom flee the scene while a crying Lana lies with Brandon's body. The next morning, Morning, Lana wakes to f- next to Brandon's corpse. Her mother arrives and takes her away from the scene. As Lana leaves Fall City, a letter Brandon wrote to her is heard in voiceover. So I guess they murder the trans person. Wait. Yeah, Tom and John drag Brandon into John's car and drive to an isolated location where they brutally beat and gang rape him. Ugh. Afterwards, they take Brandon to Tom's house. Though injured, Brandon escapes through a bathroom. Yeah, so they rape him and then she escapes, or he escapes. And then the brothers find them and, and go to kill and kill him. And then the girlfriend is like just crying. So they. It's based on a true story. Whoa. So they go, they rape, and then they're like, wait a second. There was, okay, so it was a, a, uh, a woman. So they find out it's, it's like, you're not a dude, you're a woman. And they rape that woman. And then they double back and then went back and killed them. Um, yeah, no, so it's the. the Tillery Swank plays a FTM trans person yeah. named Brandon. Yeah. And they start <laughs> dating Chloe Savini, who plays a normal, good, a good woman. A good woman. She's a good girl. A normal person. An OG woman. Yeah. Anyways. Just a regular human. And, uh, uh, yeah, then the brothers of the Chloe Savini find out that they're not, you know, a guy. And they're and, ticked. And they're, 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 they're pretty. They're livid. They're pretty and they take it out on her. Teed off. Give her the business. Damn, yeah. dude. It's biblical. Yeah. They're like, we're so mad, in fact, that we're going to rape you. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, ah, we're going to kill you now, too. Mm. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it's based on a true story. I think uh, uh, it's uh, the real person was uh, anyone who lives in Iran <laughs> <laughs> every day of their life. <laughs> why, why do you think that gets people think, so fired up? I think they, <laughs> getting tricked like that? Yeah, why? why like, no, I'm good. That literally inspires, like, murderous rage. Getting tricked? Yeah. 
Maybe it's also because they wanted to fuck their sister and they're mad that like a chick gets to do it. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, True. or they're like, why do we think of that? That disguise is genius. Yeah, if you kill them, you get their power. That's the thing about trans people. People don't understand. Like a Highlander? Yeah. <laughs> if you get them, you get their powers. Mm. Dude, that's What fuck- power is oh, that? Here's why. Because the brothers the power are... power of deception, dude. <laughs> the brothers are uh, ex Masters of disguise. <laughs> oh, wait. They're not brothers. They're just friends. But the... the, the it's brothers the... now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're ex-convicts, so they were probably getting some of that that sweet boy in prison. Oh yeah. And well, they, they saw those tits, and they were like, that whole time they were there, and we didn't even know. And then so they, they were upset. Like, they're just chilling with their butterfly knives, and like, wait, yeah. what? That's <laughs> the thing they've been waiting for for years. <laughs> is just a, is a man with a pussy. <laughs> they've, been in, they've been in prison. Getting yeah. Their, the answer, their the their solution, the man in. with a pussy. Yeah. I, it just weirds me out that inspires murder. It's like if if, if I got tricked, I'd be like, ah. Yeah. People don't yeah, like I mean, being wrong about sports. Yeah, well, that's true, that's true. <laughs> they don't like being wrong about anything, the smallest I- thing. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have and the then it's identity challenge. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I, I thought we saw. I knew. I always heard that story of dudes being like, yeah, like my cousin, like was a stripper. Turned out she had a dick. He never lose came their out. minds. He left. He didn't come outside for a year. It's like, dude, that would take me like seven minutes. I'd be like, whoa, didn't see that one. Right, <laughs> right, yeah, right. You've, you've, I've you've later. come close to that. It would just make me feel worse about investing. It would just make me feel worse about investing, which I already feel pretty bad about. Investing? Yeah, I've lost so much money. It's like, Oh, this is going to be good. You've been thinking about getting into some cryptocurrency, right? You can. I just have terrible luck. With crypto? Yeah, just don't day trade is my my suggestion. What's that have to do with getting tricked? Well, nothing getting tricked. Oh, you'd be like, bad at day trading. Once you find out cryptocurrency is a total fake, you're just like, (laughs) damn it, somebody tricked me. I thought crypto had a dick. (laughs) No, you know it's you know it's fake, but like, I mean, there's still money. There's well, I mean, it already has, but exactly. Yeah, I mean, if you invested in December, you'd be up like fucking two hundred percent right now. Yeah. Um, but the the I'm just focused on regular currency right now. Yeah, forex. You know, You're in yeah, the, yeah, big time currency. I I wanted to do like I remember I read I about forex I'm on change. I got, I got I'm like constantly dealing it. I got all kinds of forex. Yeah, yeah. Let me see these. Yeah, there you go. I wanted to get into forex when I was younger. I was like, that sounds so fucking cool. And then like you you have to like trade it in units. <laughs> I'll say like, this: I have a federal ID. Isn't that cool? And I was like, all right, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. You got a cool. Do you, you actually got a cool do wallet. Yeah, I tell no, people dude, I, I looked it up. You need like hundreds of thousands of dollars to <laughs> even like any. make mm-hmm. a dent in it. I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I do this to pretend to be a federal agent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. What mm-hmm. kind of bills are they? Um, I don't know. This is from Australia, Ooh. so I guess this is uh, some some bitch there. And <laughs> 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 is there Woodrow Wilson? In this? Are you sure that's a woman or is it a man? Yeah. <laughs> we don't even know. Everybody, what if England found out that their queen is actually a dude? How pissed would Ooh. they be? <laughs> well, they're finding out their queen is black right now. <laughs> not handling not well. handle that pretty well, yeah. <laughs> You're right. Are they not handling well? I don't keep yeah, up with that they're stuff. Not, they're not stoked on it. I don't right? think they care. That dude from the BBC's fucking he dropped tweet that. Yeah. was so fucking... What did he say? He tweeted a picture of the... Oh, yeah. Prince they, they and princess their son, like and leaving. It's like somebody walking a chimp out of bucket. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> and he was like, Damn. I didn't mean it like that. Like, he didn't yeah. mean it like that. Yeah, he tried dude. to cover it up. He was like, mm-hmm. I see how it could be construed in that manner. <laughs> you know what's funny is like, I got now that you say, I got, <laughs> I got oh, banned. I, from, I got like like suspended from Twitter for doing that same same exact thing, but like, but like as a joke, like being like, I don't know what's wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they kicked me off Twitter for like fucking a year. Damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For a chimp baby picture. <laughs> no, not a chimp baby picture. It's like there was a story about like a chimpanzee who was a leader of some gang of chimpanzees that would, had been cannibalized. It was, the headline was former chimpanzee leader cannibalized by, by previous followers or whatever, <laughs> or former followers. And I wrote like R.I.P. Obama. And then a bunch of people got mad. Oh and I was like, can someone explain to me why this is racist? <laughs> <laughs> you people were ready for it. Maybe like, like the angle of like you know, like he used to be the leader, and now like, people are turning on him. I don't understand. You know, it's like that's the joke is that like I don't understand why. Yeah, because obviously you, I understand then you have to force I mean. other people to be like, well, it's because they they yeah. look like they look <laughs> like chimps, dude. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, and then, you put, and then you get to point the finger at them. No, no, no. see, like, you I said they look like that. that was yeah. a Valerie Jarrett thing. What? It was like when she did the Valerie Jarrett, when Roseanne did that thing, when she put up the picture of Valerie Jarrett. And oh, was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Muslim Brotherhood meets Planet of the Apes. <laughs> yeah. She was like, well, I'm just talking about the Muslim Brotherhood and the way they, like, the politics of it. And everyone was like, no, you're talking about black people look like monkeys. And yeah. She was like, well, you said that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is funny, dude, to put that up. How long? You got banned for a year? Well, they did the thing where, like, they suspend you and they make you, like, they're, they're like, 
And you it's like this right on the chalkboard bullshit where they make you like go through and delete all your problematic tweets. And it was like, what? I'm not doing it. Yeah, I'm not what? doing you it. You should have Roseanne'd out. You should have been like, I took a fucking blue yeah, chew, dude. dude. I, was, I had no control. <laughs> I, was, I was hard as fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah, I just like don't, I'd like to apologize. I donate a bunch of money to a chimp research organization. <laughs> Like I've said, I have spent time. I just get it wrong. I get it wrong, and I'm apologizing to people who work with chimpanzees. <laughs> that was the afflicted. Like a... they were like, you got to apologize to chimpanzee. Nah, Abby. This was this was in January. <laughs> That's a rough one. Like right? Yeah, no, that was bad. <laughs> that was bad it doesn't make any sense either. <laughs> it's just like I don't. I say I donate to an organization full of chimpanzees, and you're like, what? What? A bunch of black people? <laughs> like, okay, yeah, sure. I guess. Yeah, that, I'm blue chewed out. Chill. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> deep fake. Yeah, obviously. that was a deep fake. Um, yeah, no, it was like right after the election. So it's like, you know, people are... When they let you heated. back on, what, did they send you an email just like, Psst. No, eventually I just went in and like the, some of the tweets had been deleted by themselves anyways. And it's oh. all... Like, yeah, they just ended up deleting them. Did they at least give you a picture of them to take home with you to put on your no, wall? No, but plenty of people <laughs> screen capped them. That's good. When people like think they're doing communism and they want to be like, well... Pff. It, what the hell is this from five years ago? <laughs> right, 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 I'm right. I'm going to keep pointing out this and sending it to journalists who happen to follow this person to prove <laughs> that the only way to stop Donald Trump is by getting mad at who people follow. Damn, dude, trying to take you down. They can't. Fuck no, dude. Uh-uh. <laughs> no fucking way. We were just talking about hiring honeypots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to start infiltrating like 14-year-old girls. What are honeypots? people. Yeah, we'll probably go a little. Honey, we're going honey, we're going we'll go going maybe over. eighteen, maybe seventeen and a half. Honeypots like something like the police use. Like it be a car that's like designed to be broken into or stolen. Yeah, you get like oh, you, so we're going to infiltrate oh. the field, like the, the comedy scene with just like you just hire prostitutes. Oh, and have them like find all of our enemy comedians, just like deepest darkest secrets from them. Oh, gather dirt and then destroy them with it. Mm. Like the CIA oh, goes. Yeah. nice. Think about it. We're gonna start. Be some, fun. We're gonna have to start with some pretty rough fucking honey pots with our budget. We'll be doing yeah. like K and A street walkers. Pretty tough. Just You'd a be surprised. I, uh, In this economy, you could probably get a pretty good deal. I love that. What? I love that. I love that plan. Send them to open mics. Just being an information broker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know I mean? Aren't the we deal, all? The deal's in dark secrets. <laughs> yeah, you know? Just sitting in sitting in a cafe somewhere. <laughs> what do I know about him? I know very much. <laughs> <laughs> what do you yeah, want be, to know? be black turtlenecks and scarves from here on out. A couple dossiers. The question is what you can do for me, my friend. Yeah, that'd be so cool. They would spill their guts instantly. Yeah. Get them to like tweet shit on their phone for them. Oh, yeah, I mean, I feel like most comedians don't even have secrets. They just sort of broadcast everything. Right, else. right, right. Yeah, like, That's well, true. I'm six months into comedy. Time to do my web series about how I was raped repeatedly yeah. <laughs> from age 13 to. Time 15. to brag about my five abortions. Yeah, right. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> a good point. <laughs> yeah. Still gonna do it. Well, I wonder what Target's gonna do with all the gay stuff once the month ends. <laughs> they just have all this gay shit in the store now, and it's like you you just stocked up on that. It's be like old Super Bowl shit, like old Halloween candy. Yeah, send it to yeah. Africa. I'm gonna get discount that gay happens. stuff from yeah, like old Super Bowl shirts. Yeah. yeah, man. There was a well. Hold on, let me tell you right now. Africa does not want that stuff. <laughs> <not> gonna <laughs> that's gonna go. Uh, on that's gonna start another war over there. Put right. a tire I was reading on a book about your arm <laughs> removed through the machete. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading a book about people in like Eastern Europe with like, wearing like Pride Week shirts and having like no idea what it yeah. was. <laughs> what's that little bit like bot like like uh, identity stuff? Is like there was like some headline that people were like sharing. They're like, "This is great." It's like Botswana strikes down the uh, bill to like throw people in prison for being gay they're like fuck yeah and it's like they're still like a million years behind <laughs> yeah. they actually be more safe in prison than yeah. outside of yeah. prison <laughs> that would actually help <laughs> then they get to be together yeah, yeah I told you that, that Mexican dude I saw wearing that I just saw a Mexican dude he was working on this lawn in uh at yeah. college, and he was wearing a shirt that just said, I came, I saw, I partied. Yeah. Pretty sick. <laughs> 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 no, like, like pride stuff. <laughs> yeah, That's I do the flowers. <laughs> when we go out landscaping, I love to do the flowers and the tulips. <laughs> Copping a beer shirt was like the coolest shit you could have. When I was like 14, if I got like a Michelob shirt, I was like, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Oh, dude, the, 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 the Getting in trouble that, at school. The beer that only exists to be stolen out of your garage by teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no adult is actually drinking Michelob. In a wine cooler t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that is too funny. 
It's definitely a honey pot, dude. Michelob mm. Ultra. Someone yeah, was yeah, bragging yeah. me the other night, like, I drank like five Michelob Ultras the other day, and I wasn't even drunk. I'm like, because you didn't drink beer. I think <laughs> the yeah, first... Yeah. You drank five waters. <laughs> 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 what else you guys got kicking around? Uh, I saw a bank the other day that was five-thirds bank, and I was thinking it's probably run by Asians, and it's just an insult towards black people. <laughs> Just, right? That's they're, worse than mine. Oh, is it? it? No, it's not. Because <laughs> Asians, it, Asians are very racist it. towards black people. So they're like rubbing in their face because Asians are supposedly smarter than white people, right? So they're saying that they're five thirds. So I'm so saying. Literature, Abby. Have I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's all <laughs> in. Drop. <laughs> old Charles Murray. I don't know. It was quiet and it was a thought I remembered. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. Quiet, so you're like, here's some racist shit. I'm <laughs> <laughs> a phrenologist. But, but the, the Asians are the racist ones in there. Yeah, I hear you. You've been reading the bell curve. <laughs> I wrote the bell curve bitch. I was, bitch. Where, but I was like behind some black person. I think I had like a ruler or whatever. And I was just pretending to like like casually measure their head. I'm trying to remember where. <laughs> but I, like that is just such a just like that's a fun, awful. That's a so fun, bad. A fun move. <laughs> Just, no, I'm just interested. I don't know. Like, yeah, you gave him shit for yeah, NWA. Yeah, 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 where that was. Japan? Fuck. I can't, yeah. <laughs> what were you measuring? But just like the like the joke is that you're like just sort of casually, sneakily trying to like measure a black person's head like in public. <laughs> <laughs> like, like on the God. train just like holding up like no what wow, I'm just checking <laughs> I like to measure things I don't know <laughs> you say you're in your uh, phrenology <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> no, that was a... top science back in the day dude yeah they'd be like well we study the skulls we're mm -hmm. better yeah that was like top science yeah Everyone was like, it was like if you were talking about evolution well that right settles now. it yeah. <laughs> they're like duh mm -hmm. people are still using that it was Charles Darwin's Cousin, Sir Francis. You know Charles, Charles Darwin had a retarded son. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. How funny is that? Stop. Dude. Yeah, he did. Yeah, for real. That's what? why he was like His survival son? of the fittest. Yeah. We're supposed to we... let some of them die. Yeah. How can we never heard about? Why isn't he? Why isn't he in the history books? Uh, his son? Yeah, because his dad wrote the history books. <laughs> 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 he yeah. cut him out. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Francis Damn. Galton was like his uh, his cousin, and he like took Darwin's idea and was just like, I can apply this to social theory. And he was like, white people are the best. Well, he improved it. We have different size heads. Bam. Damn. Everyone else sucks. Cause it was, wow. But that's damn. So his retard is Charles Darwin is real big during the, uh, eugenics age. Mm -hmm. so he had a, he was hiding that retarded boy, dude, because yeah. that dude was on the chopping block. <laughs> he was probably stoked when he went to that island and saw those goofy fucking animals. He's like, I should let my son out here. <laughs> That's a down here paradise. These... Galapagos? Galapagos is That's a retarded, retarded paradise, dude. <laughs> His son's not retarded. Damn. He's just evolved to not care about the things that we have to. That's actually, mm. you know, honestly, we're evolving the wrong way. We should all go back to a simpler being, you know? You well, get black pills. Now you sound like a Rothschild, dude, yeah. trying to social engineer us all. Oh, yeah? yeah? Into retarded. being... <laughs> Darwin had 10 kids. One of them died at age 10. The other one died at 23 days. Um, Damn. One of them was sick but lived at 84. Uh, sick but lived the, to 84? Yeah. One yeah. of them became knighted. Nice. Uh, Hopefully it was the retarded kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just a foam sword. <laughs> uh, sir, sir Cookies oh, OBE. <laughs> well, Leonard Darwin. So he got Damn, he, he ran the gamut, dude. A knight? You have a knight? A Damn. Knight, a sick 84-year-old? Yeah, Emma Darwin gave birth to their 10th and last child, Charles Waring. Who's not even his last name isn't even Darwin. <laughs> <laughs> On six, the words. Yeah, well, no, it's, <laughs> it's him <laughs> trying to say Darwin. <laughs> Charles Waring. <laughs> On 6 December 1856, when she was 48 years old, the baby had Down syndrome and died of scarlet fever after 18 months. Oh, so he's, he's, he never learned how to walk or speak. Charles wrote a loving memorial to his infant son. So, yeah. That's pretty tragic. Yeah, well, take that, Charles Darwin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. bitch. Mm -hmm. He wrote like a big list on like the pros and cons of being married. Really? Yeah, it was like it, it how many? How, what was the percentage of pros to cons? I forget, but he, I mean, he ended up marrying, but he like definitely was like, I don't know if I want to do this, and wrote out like a list of like pros, cons, and then he, he forgot like the possibility of a. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. He's like, he probably got that. I was like. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I watched that testimony of that Down syndrome guy, like uh, to Congress about like uh, 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 aborting Down syndrome children or screening for Down syndrome children or whatever. Yeah. And uh, he does. It's funny. It's like how 
you know, like, I mean, most people are, like, pretty stuck in their ways or whatever, and you're not going to be, like, swayed by any kind of argumentation, no matter how, you know, persuasive it is. But that video that retarded guy did make me, literally made me go, like, huh, I guess I didn't think of it that way. <laughs> what, what was the issue? They're saying yeah, he's they're like, screen. look at me. Don't oh, fucking stop kill me. Yeah, he's yeah. like, I don't yeah. want to die. No, I mean, that's all bullshit. It's Wait, like, are you talking about yeah. Bill Maher the other night? <laughs> <laughs> um uh, but no, he's like talking to Congress and he's like saying he's like Down syndrome is like study to show stu- show that Down syndrome like experience more joy and happiness than regular people and families with yeah. with children with Down syndrome do experience a higher quality of life. And it's like, oh, yeah, that is true. They are happier. It's like and that really should be like way more of a metric of somebody's self-worth, like as if they're like literal ability well, to contribute to the happiness. That of the people depends around on them. the situation. It's like in a wealthy family, they're happier. But it's like there's a lot of like yeah, oh, people with the poor ones. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not the poor ones yeah. get to wander the whole neighborhood. Never, yeah. Like, ah. we st- we they become like them. the neighborhood cat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We still them need up. them for labor. I understand how the New York City <laughs> subway. Right. Work. Okay. Okay. I understand what, what like what yeah, keeps the, the sewage flowing under the cities. Movie yeah. theaters aren't going to fucking run themselves. All dude. of cool. all of the the toilets. There's a team of retarded people underground that suck the diarrhea out of them. <laughs> Jesus and Christ. That's what we do with them. I, I'm aware of that. I understand. We need them for society to function. I'm pro retarded, dude. I love it. Yeah. yeah. I'm 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 a big uh, I don't know if you guys know the word neurodiversity. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Italians are very big on a neurodiversity because they have to be. <laughs> That's why they have the mafia. They take care of their own, you know, because most of them are they just I like, like it because the there's so many Italians syllables retarded. in the word. Huh? They just like it because there's so many syllables in the word. <laughs> They're like, "Whoa, bro. Okay, uh, more Mickey, to say? Come look at this. <laughs> neurodiversity." <laughs> 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 I love saying it. Yeah, they're stop trying to like cure autism. They're just being like, yeah, this is just something that pops up. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yes, awesome. Yeah, AI. They're, everybody's worried about AI typical. taking over. It's actually just autism that's going to come take over. Yeah, autism much. and yeah. intelligence. More, more realistic yeah, for autism take over. AI. Yeah, we're worried about robots. It's it's us. It's us. We're wow. right here. Terminator <laughs> versus a bunch of autists. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a good battle, dude. Just random mass shooters yeah, attacking those... robots. <laughs> yeah, I put my money, I put my, honestly, I put my money on autistic guys versus. Oh, AI. for yeah. sure, because yeah. uh, they can reprogram the guys. Yeah. The other the the robots. Actual robots. They're the ones who built them. Well, it's like <laughs> probably things are going to skew more towards autism as people are like increasingly socialized, like through technology yeah. and direct forms of communication. Yeah. So this whole idea that like you know a lot of people, I mean myself included, I've made a career off saying I have autism. I don't have autism. I'm just an asshole and I have bad social skills. Yeah. And like that is like probably more of a result of me spending most of my time online yeah, rather yeah. than like ever having friends. Yeah. You know, and just seeing relationships as sort of oppositional and. <laughs> And transactional and like, you know, what do you have on me that I don't have on you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's like, is that something new that those people are going to rise to power? Or they're just like more manipulative. Well, I mean, our, literally our president can, is can, autistic. Oh, sweethearts, dude. Now they can hide behind being autistic. Nah, they're strict honor code. Well, there's going to be a lot of, yeah, there's going to be a lot of fake autistic. But I've met real deal autistic people I've worked with. Like they're sweethearts to you. Piss them off. Dude, they're sweet. Then they're a, lot guy, of the, a lot of those neuroatypical guys, are like the, you know, those communities or whatever. You read the forums, and they kind of like retcon uh, like famous historical figures, being like, "Oh yeah, he yeah he was retarded for sure." Stonewall Jackson, every, every Newton, yeah, yeah Stonewall that. Jackson was autistic. Uh, <laughs> Isaac <laughs> Newton was autistic. <laughs> 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 he dances at him. He's like, "Well, if they're gonna hit me, they're supposed to." <laughs> yeah, like if, if it was like Stonewall Jackson, but it's the Pride Stonewall, and he's like, "Who's ready to go to war? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to have a war?" <laughs> God, I can't wait to make slavery continue <laughs> forever. <laughs> so I can yeah. fuck the... Okay. That was good. Yeah, all right, sure. Yeah. Gay, gay Stonewall? Gay, yeah. <laughs> Stonewall Jackson. How about Stonewall Blackson? And he's like, oh, yeah, no, don't ask me about my son. They all hit me with no goddamn no, cannon. Yeah, don't wait, right here. No, no, he's not black. He has a black son. <laughs> so like, no, cool, I love the Confederacy. I <laughs> no, I, I, I don't I mean, yeah, he's my son. I don't know. He spent the summer in Italy, so I don't know. Got a little bit of a, some, some tan on him. <laughs> you know, what, what are we going to do your family now? What's the matter what he looks like? I'm a general. <laughs> That's why I got killed by friendly fire, dude. Mm-hmm. What One you, of the what Confederates would, was like, someone was jelly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would what would Black Stonewall Jackson be? Mm. Just, this is the one I did. Into next, anime? Next, <laughs> yeah, next yeah. tell phone wall, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cricket phone wall, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where you at, man? Yeah, we at Appomattox. <laughs> did you ever, do either of you guys ever watch anime? No. I did watched, you? Uh, fuck, what the hell was that? God damn it, I can't think of it. It was when they traveled back in time. 
There's probably a bunch of them. But yeah, probably. Wishbone. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I thought anime meant gay <laughs> children's entertainment. <laughs> oh, it's ja- oh, it's, oh, it has to be Japanese. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll think of it and remember. It was it was pretty good. I liked it. Okay. But yeah, I kind of liked it, and then I just you know. I don't know. You realize like, what comes with it. You're like, oh, this is kind of fun, but then this can't become my personality. Well, that was yeah, – my thing is if I'm if I'm <laughs> drinking and I feel like I might have a hangover and I want to avoid the hangover, I would – I had a practice where I'd get super high. I'd eat like edibles and then watch Ooh. anime until I passed out. And yeah. That's like a avoid a hangover that way. Oh, okay. So that's how I kind of got into it. And I'd watch that one show on time travel and I'd wake up high and be like, what timeline am I on? <laughs> <laughs> Do you still smoke a lot? I have, pay, I have like waves. I go in and out. Yeah. So it's like I won't for a while. Then I'll like gobble edibles. Right now, definitely in an active period. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm definitely working on a whole system of uh, anxiety desensitiz- desensitization from just getting super high and being like, oh. It's crazy. Now. Everyone's doing like ketamine therapy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Or microdosing. Even like normal people are doing ketamine therapy. That's surprising me. Yeah. I'm, I'm like weird about ketamine. Some yeah. Try going to the gym first. Some dude hit me up. <laughs> right. Some dude yeah. hit me up. Go for a fucking walk. Someone yeah. hit me up and they were like, I always talk shit on ketamine. Some guy's like, no, I did it for depression. So he's Yeah. Like, oh, I've heard good things. Dude, I've seen people doing it and it just does not look good. But, but it also depends cool. on, yeah, who you're getting your opinions from. It better be USA Ketamine, dude. None of that Chinese shit. God bless you. <laughs> Thank mm. you. Yeah, it's horse tranquilizer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a dissociative. Yeah. But yeah, that's dude. But it's just a little. <laughs> it's just a little horse no, tranquilizer. It's not. I was talking to my friend. She was like, "Yeah, I went and got like ketamine therapy, and I assumed it was like micro dosing." And she's like, "No, they give you a fucking." Oh my know. god! You know, they put you in a K hole. Yeah, dude. Like she's like, "Yeah, I thought the first time I thought I was dying, and I was like gonna have to explain to my son that I was gonna be dead, what, what? or whatever." Yeah, and I was like, "What the fuck?" And she was like, "But the second one was great." Yeah, dude. They, it's like, uh, I don't know yeah. about that. Wait, they give you an IV? Yeah, yeah, man. That's how they do it. They can do it intermuscularly, but it's like, way quicker. <laughs> Just to kind of hit you in the arm with it, mm-hmm. you just go into a fucking K hole, dude. Yeah, I, I, where are these centers? Are they like open right well, now? Well, New York City's got plenty of that shit. New York City has like, like the, the. I would not be surprised if rich people don't have like a fucking eternal sunshine like facility somewhere. You right, know? right. Yeah. You know, uh, like or uh, uh, what is that movie? Vanilla Sky. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to start one here. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But. You could probably actually like, like that's too like, much pressure. Like buy, buy like the services from that movie, The Game, in New York somehow. Yeah, no, There's all that. these places that are like youth centers, and you just go, and they're you're like, yeah, I'm like I'm I'm, I'm shitty, and then they're like, oh, here's a bunch of like steroids and HGH, and they'll like prescribe you like you can just get like what? yeah, you can just get prescription fucking like yeah, Tran and HGH. Jesus. I know, like, I met a guy who's just a doctor, and, like, like I went, used to go to the gym with him, and he's, like, just, like, a doctor. This isn't some fucking, like, meathead. I mean, I guess he is a meathead, but he is also a doctor. And he's just, like, prescribing everyone fucking, uh, like, not the actual testosterone, because you can just buy that online, but, like, Clomid, which, like, makes your balls not shrink when you cycle off. Sick. So yeah. what does it do instead of that, though? What, Clomid? Yeah, if it doesn't make your balls shrink, like, what's the other <sighs> side effect? Because there's always some other thing. There's always some. <laughs> the yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, if you're, like, on testosterone and you, like, cycle off and you just, like, stop taking it, it'll, like, fuck your body up. So I think, yeah. like, Clomid helps, like, regulate. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I There's some other bad effect never that's da- coming from that, though. I've roids, dude. I'm, I'm real into more just, like, mushrooms, weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> hands on some clean acid if anyone's out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that shit's all. That's gonna, I think that's going to be the next wave. Was the, dude, SSRI, Psychedelics? The SSRI, yeah, the SSRI stuff hasn't been backed up by... Real medical evidence. Oh, really? No, the evidence is scant. I don't know. Have you ever done too many psychedelics, though, and you're like, I need to fucking take a chill pill from those? That's, you ever dig too much, and you're Saturday. like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I think I'm done with on. the psychedelics for a while. I'm like, I, I'm good for well, I got some and shit. that's a cool thing. You take them, and you're not like, you know, you're like, all right, I'm cool on these for a while. But, yeah. You know, I like them. Do you ever think you're going to smoke yourself retarded? This, no. That's Do you propaganda. think it's a thing? That's propaganda. It's propaganda? That's racist propaganda. Is it? Stuff. Yeah, dude. Good. I hope so. Because I don't want to stop smoking. I keep telling myself, I'm like, <laughs> maybe I should stop smoking. What if it's affecting me? And I'm like, but I don't want to. Then again, I just literally had a concussion. And uh, Oh, you I'm did? Really working, yeah. <laughs> so How long ago? Mm, Everybody's getting concussions. Yeah, he skipped defensive driving class, gotten a nice someone, rack. Someone fucking ran a stop sign and cracked me. Have so. you had a concussion? Yeah, probably. Have you had a concussion? I don't think so. I mean, I've never gone to the hospital. Me either. Because it been, fucks you up. I've been I've knocked been. out. Like just wow. like knock the fuck out, and then like f- like just been real like sleepy and weird. Okay, so yes, life. you had a concussion. Concussion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. concussion. 
Damn. Yeah, I never had one diagnosed. Same. But yeah. I played football my whole yeah, life. Yeah, you get yeah, you knocked out and you like don't know where you are, how you got yeah. to the place you're at, and like you're just like kind of yeah, just sleepy and out of it. Yeah, I've been concussed, I guess. Yeah, yeah they slip under the radar a lot because I was just like, can't believe yeah. I got out of that like unscathed, and then like I just didn't sleep for three days. And I was like, oh, fuck. <gasps> Look it up. Concussed. Yeah, it's like fuck. Damn, it's pretty tight though. Yeah. Getting concussed is pretty sick. Dude, yeah. it's, it makes Puts you, you on another level. makes you a warrior. I can't wait to <laughs> kill my family with Bowflex. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that. We were going to both... We're just waiting. Our whole squad hey, look, has what, CT. What is it? Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> June, Poor BB girl. June 25th. Is that the anniversary of... Uh, Benoit? Benoit? Never forget, dude. Yeah, Never I know forget, it's in. Dude. It's like June or July because every year I it was remember. hot. It's gonna be a hot summer in the you Benoit know what? house. I feel like there's been an uptick <laughs> in like Benoit references in the last like year. Yeah, because it used to be this thing I would forget about, and then every summer I'd remember and I'd be like, oh yeah, <laughs> 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 and it would just like I saw somebody with a sign at a WWE thing that was like, "Bring back Benoit." <laughs> 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 Hilarious. <laughs> Uh, yeah, now it's kind of ruined because people make Chris Benoit jokes all year long, and it's like, yeah, it's like, you know, like people are like, Christmas, why can't we have Christmas all the time? That's true, yeah. we should save it for the summer. Of course, you should save it. People don't have any, yeah, June yeah. 24th, 2007. It should be like ago. that uh, Justin Timberlake meme when it's May. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. It should be Benoit every June. Mm -hmm. It should be bad. Yeah, if someone does it, they come on, man. Nothing mm, gets fucking yeah. Benoit. It's only dude. January, dude. Yeah, that's my. This is my. <laughs> you go, yeah, you go to the store. <laughs> and they're like, they're already putting up Benoit shit. <laughs> People are not even Benoit. Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, all the targets Benoit merchandise that they have to get rid of. They're like, hey, Africa, do you want a bunch of Chris Benoit gay stuff? Uh -huh. It's a rainbow flag choke slamming its seven year old son. Uh, <laughs> Africa, oh, yes, yes, please give us anything, <laughs> any type of help you can provide to Africa. That'd be nice to have. Well, that's probably why they got into it. Yeah, we kept we kept sending them Benoit shit, and then they were like, "We gotta solve concussions for them." Mm -hmm. They don't understand it. Oh, that's how it started. Mm -hmm. That's true. You think Benoit culture spread throughout Africa? Yeah, like, we have to stop this. Rabid Wolverine went through. They're like, "We gotta put an end to this." America doesn't know <laughs> shit. I was just wonder what they did before they knew all this stuff. Like there was a Benoit. It was probably a Benoit like in every village. Dude, you know, I told like, you about my fucking grandpa. What, what happened? You mean, what do you mean? Like someone with CTE? I'm talking about like grow yeah, growing yeah. up. I mean, even just like they shouldn't have a name for it. There's ago. somebody who lost it. That's Dude, what they called it. Yeah. I told you, my my grandpa had CT. Like he got it. He <gasps> played at Notre Dame, cracked his fucking skull in a game, and then he his career ended. And then they just told me that recently, my family. But before that, every story about him was him just fighting people. Yeah, and like freaking out. The way he died was he woke up from heart surgery on the operating table and freaked out and tried to fight all the doctors. His That's amazing. <laughs> Whoa, that is the coolest thing yeah, I've ever CTE. heard. Yeah. yeah. He was a monster, too. Damn. Yeah. They probably his... pulled the plug. They probably snipped him. They like, hit his <laughs> aorta. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, he freaked out. He tried to fight us. <gasps> yeah, every story was him just attacking people. That's fucking and then, sick. And then someone showed me a newspaper clipping with, from, like, the 30s where they were like, yeah, he's out this week because of a head injury. It's like, dude, if they're sitting you out in 1930... Because mm -hmm. of a head injury, Damn. that's a fucking serious injury. Yeah. Damn. Everyone else on the team has, like, radiation sickness. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm letting uh, good old Uncle Sam do experiments on me. <laughs> I'm helping out the government. For, no, they're not paying me. I'm, I'm helping, uh, helping the effort where the I can. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm helping the Japs out. They're blasting me with fucking <laughs> 700 grams of ionizing radiation every morning. we got to play Purdue this week. Yeah, my skin's all burned off. But it's good. They say it's good for you. You know, I just found out they used to have this thing in shoe stores called Petoscopes. Mm. It? It's just like a constantly on x-ray machine. So you can put your children's <laughs> legs in to see how the shoes fit. Oh. So Wait, people who what? worked in shoe stores in the 30s were just constantly being exposed to massive doses of radiation. They couldn't just take the kid's word for it, but they, they, yeah, they no. don't fit. They're like, put they couldn't put the fucking yeah. thumb on the fucking end of the shoe? Yeah. Yeah, no, they just had to, yeah, just, and, and, like, even in the 30s, like, the fucking government and oversight, like, groups were like, don't do that. Good for that salesman. Whoever got that fucking product oh in all those goddamn stores. Mm -hmm. Great-grandfather of the asbestos salesman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I love. I, like, you go to the American History Museum or you just, like, look at, like, pictures of, like, old, like, uh, I think what, like, most is most symbolic of, like, that era was is, like, old desk fans where they only had, like, three wires on it. And then it's like, yeah, just don't stick your fingers in there because it'll cut your fingers off. And then at a certain point, they were like, 
like, well, we can't trust people. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a few more it used wires. to be like, it's like, hey, you can let these machines kill you if you want. Yeah. You know? And enough people had their fingers cut off. Yeah. Right. We didn't used to need we euthanasia. Mm-hmm. Now we need it because everything's been protected, you mm-hmm. know? True. Man, I've it's like, so I can't just dudes. accidentally die anymore. Can you please kill me? Yeah. Sticking their finger in that fan just to get out of work. <laughs> you have a fucking get out of work pass right there yeah. every day. <laughs> yeah, anything that's like, they're just like, yeah, that works and sticks around. It's just not safe. Like the fucking trucks the mailmen drive. They're like, yeah, no seatbelts and doors. Door. Right, right, <laughs> right. Just don't turn right too fast. Yeah, right. <laughs> Basically a go-kart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you wonder how many mailmen have just spilled out. Oh, dude, right. it's got to be countless, dude. <laughs> <laughs> How many of our finest we probably lost due to slipping out the door? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, I guess it would be a left. <laughs> sure, yeah. On the right side? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some like dude rolling me. out. <laughs> yeah, the Asian guy from earlier tripping out. Oh, hey, guys. Yeah, <laughs> He's back in, drives off. What's we've, up? we've lost a lot of our finest, dude, just rolling down that thing. Just the boys in blue, man. And that truck just crashes into a bunch of kids at play. <laughs> yeah. I was at the uh, Transit Museum in New York reading about the uh, how they built like the like one of the tunnels, I guess, for the trains. <laughs> and the the trains? trains? Me too. Yeah, yeah. I was like, already? Oh, they got I was like, yeah, they got their own they museum. They built the railroad. I wonder if they it's had like, the a, bones of trans. It's a, dinosaur. Yeah, it's in Target, it's actually. It's in the... <laughs> it's a giant bathroom that no one's allowed to use. <laughs> <laughs> And if, <laughs> they go yeah. and hang it from the ceiling like the blue whale. Yeah, <laughs> just like oh man, they're huge. But they, um, <laughs> like, they would have to pressurize the tunnels, and they had to basically this big like steel sleeve that they would like dig out some of the ground and then push it forward. What? This big steel sleeve to build the tunnels, like yeah, underneath yeah, the yeah. East River, so that like the the sleeve would span like the entire circumference of like the front of the tunnel. They would dig out all the shit and then push the, like, the yeah, sleeve boring. forward. Yeah, boring too. But occasionally you'd hit a pocket where there would be like like air in the ground, and the guys who were at the front of the tunnel had the most dangerous job because oh, it's like you yeah. hit one of those things that like just sucks Collapse. all the pressure out of it. It's being like sucked out of an airlock. <laughs> what? <laughs> was, like, there was a guy that was like sucked through the fucking Whoa. thing and then shot up a hundred feet in the air. Like, what? At, in the East River, falls back into the water, and they're like, "Go back to work, Seamus." <laughs> they like sent him back down into the fucking what? tunnel. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He had to go back to work. Yeah, he had to go back to work. And then, like, they have, like, a list of, like, what the wages were. And it's, like, you got paid, like, half a penny a day. <laughs> and with that, you could buy, like, a beer. What the fuck? Dude? Yeah. Yeah, it was sick. Now, the Queensboro Bridge, I was, like, looking at it or something. And it's like it, like they list like the nine guys that died making that shitty bridge. <laughs> R.I.P. Dude, <laughs> like sh- <laughs> honestly, that's a pretty good deal. You get a name on a bridge. Yeah. No, yeah. no. It, I think it just said nine people. <laughs> <laughs> nine dudes died. Yeah, nine dudes died on this bridge. Yeah. It's like you think like three thousand people died in nine eleven, but like how many people died just building New York City? Oh, dude, a ton. Right. Yeah. A ton. Yeah. Falling off of scaffolds and. Those I beams and shit. Yeah, those like rivet crews that were like just throwing three thousand degree pieces of metal at each other with like no safety harness. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I used to work with guys like that. I'm gonna become one of the middle aged guys that like idolizes guys like that and gets mad at children. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> like that's how they used to be. Me, well, no, I'm not, I'm a soft titted faggot myself also, but I'm old now. So you can tell from my Harley Davidson shirt that I would have been one of those guys yeah. had I been given the opportunity to. Yeah, sure. yeah, every old dude gets gay, and they also start being like, I love the military. Yeah, I would have served. I can't wait. <laughs> I hope my flight's served. delayed so I can shake people's hands in the airport. <laughs> There's nothing I want more than to shake the hands of, yeah, of veterans. Some Air Force Reserve <laughs> yeah, yeah. coming through. Uh, sir, uh, <laughs> you're allowed to wipe the Panera out of my mustache so I can suck your cock. <laughs> While I wait to complain to this United, this man is a veteran. Veteran. Where's his seat, ma'am? <laughs> yeah, it's awkward, too. Did you ever talk to one of those guys? Like, I had a, I had a spring of a couple of lift drivers who had been, like, they were soldiers overseas. And, like, mm-hmm. when you start getting into, like, the reasons they were over there and the money interest, those dudes go, like, I love to bring up, quick, I love to bring dude. up Call of Duty to those guys. <laughs> talk about, dude, have you, I called in this kill streak on fucking whatever that airport level. <laughs> It was so sick, dude. You ever use one of those for real? Anyways, yeah. No, I'm really good at the game. But yeah, it was hell, dude. Yeah. Then I respawned, and they came yeah. back. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I was in actually Fallujah, too, and one of my friends, and you're like, shut up! <laughs> God, shut up! Talk about video games! <laughs> uh, you were a troop, Shane. How do you like this? No, I was a troop. I don't support this. Yeah. 
You're oh, waiting yeah. to buck against us. I'm, fit. I'm all right, man. <laughs> I was just waiting for a flight. Do you still wear the costume? Yeah, I have the costume. Do you have the costume they gave you? At I had the Port? boots. I was yeah. still wearing those boots for a while. <laughs> Dude, I buy you drinks. A do you still do you Do you keep them nice? Do you keep the boots nice? No, the boots are gone now. Uh, but I did you steal Valor a couple times. Yeah, they got too. They were worn out. You got to re-enlist. I got to get new shoes, yeah. Damn, that sucks. Your boots are That's gone. That's so funny that you can just like go to West Point and be like, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> you, you can't, yeah, you yeah. can't enlist and do that. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. You can go to West Point yeah, and sure. be like, nah, I'm good. And every single person there is like, come on, man. Don't quit, please. Mm-hmm. Please stay. <laughs> please. We all want to quit. They yeah. wanted you They're to like, stay? Yeah, it, immediately. I was getting yelled at by these drill sergeants because I was just taking a shower. Yeah. Like, after hours, I just got up and I was like, I'm going to get in the shower. This sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were like, what the fuck are you doing out here? Like, they started screaming. And they're like, do you even want to be here? And I was like, no, I'm, I'm definitely going to quit. Yeah. And they immediately they're like, ah, oh, man, come on. <laughs> like, it's not that bad, do man. They, no. why, I was wondering this the other day. Like, why do they think they have to, like, scream it? Why can't they just be like, all right, here's weapons. We're going to train you guys how to use them. We're going to make sure you train and get in good shape. Why do they have to Because you're like, supposed to adjust. <laughs> you want to get people adjusted to having, like, PTSD immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Legitimately, really? yeah. I mean, that's the whole reason they're screaming at you and putting you in a high-stress situation is because that's what warfare is going to be. Well, and it's also like so you they just... put you in boot camp and they demoralize you to the point where you're not an individual anymore. You're only like a like well, a you're weapon. now Chinese. You're a weapon. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. They can't make you can't. I guess that's why you just can't have a bunch of chill ass right. bros waging warfare. Well, you yeah. just also yeah. have to have a hierarchy of fucking like people to know who you listen to and like know True, who you take your yeah. orders from. Like, because in a moment, like you have to know that you're the absolute person who's going to give those orders. Because yeah. then in that situation, you have to come up with something. I guess there's no time for like. You have to know where like to look. There's no time who to, to talk like, well, to. Sarge, actually, uh, here's what I'm thinking. Like, yeah, yeah. Wait, did you ever consider the military? All the time. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime I see that 20G signing bonus, I'm like, I could do it. And then yeah. I get like three minutes into the fantasy and I like think about someone yelling at me and I'm like, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to react to all of that. <laughs> the only thing that ever scared me away was the idea of having to do something for more than six months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. It's the same reason I don't have any tattoos or yeah. you know, any real opinions, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, that's true. Yeah, as soon as someone starts yelling at you, you're just like, "Yeah, that's my uh, thing." Or I can just leave. Like, I can just leave. Yeah, yeah. I, I had a friend that was a uh, he was like a uh, like a artillery captain or whatever. There's like a friend of the friend. We would like hang out and go drinking mm-hmm. and stuff. And I was at like when I was like 23, I didn't know what I was gonna do, and like my money was like fucked up, and like comedy was kind of just like whatever. And uh, I was like, I was thinking about enlisting, and he's like, No. Yeah. He's like, absolutely not. That would turn into a Fort Hood situation almost immediately. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I'm telling you right now, you would do terrible in the military. Yeah. Shane yeah. gave me the talk. I was telling yeah, Shane, I, like, I would have been universal soldier, dude. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. Matt was like, I could have been a Navy SEAL. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, trust me, everyone thinks that because they saw American Sniper, but I literally, nah. I think you just seen American Sniper. Yeah. yeah. I get you. That yeah. and Zero Dark Thirty. Because I've also dedicated my life towards like not having an alarm clock. Mm. So, like, <laughs> well, that's what middle aged That's what those middle aged guys are. Is like they also have the delusion that they could have done it, but they don't have anyone in their life anymore to be like, no, you can't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because you know, it's like, of course you can. It would just be cruel to tell that man that like, no, he was destined to sell computer parts that he didn't understand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, that's true. Like you could have yeah. been a fucking seal, but no, instead you, you made the ultimate. ultimate you've been sacrifice. a fucking loser <laughs> your entire life. You will continue to be a loser. <laughs> you have nothing more than. You're like model train forums and yeah. you know shaking people's hands at the airport. It's a tough thought, man. When you start thinking about like uh, the inevitability of how many people just die utterly mentally wrecked and just like it never worked out. Yeah, well, it's because they never <laughs> the learn to like live for people other than themselves, which is like a necessary transition. You have to like understand that you're like part of an ongoing process of like humanity there's people that came before you that died or whatever matt's got yep. two dogs he doesn't live for himself he's yeah. got two dogs to live for. no i heard that <laughs> i'm hearing that man you are an ongoing process people get too hung up on themselves it's the worst thing in the world yeah <laughs> i'm just dude put me right I, I always said you bury me just put me in a burlap sack and kick me in a hole dude let me disintegrate Mm. That's weird to put people in a fucking. But here's the box. thing: it's like, like people won't even care enough to do that. They'll have a regular funeral for you. No one will care yeah. about your stupid burlap sack. Right, right. <laughs> I know, that's my, that's like, I, yeah, he wanted some fancy burlap sack thing to prove how much of a regular guy he was. But no, no, really, that's he actually own... was a regular guy, and we don't give a shit enough. So here's your suit. Here's your casket. No, I don't put want you in that. the ground in Unless two years. Unless you served, dude. Then they toss yeah. a flag on True. there. That's mm-hmm. the difference. Bin Laden. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But they're gonna do I'll that. You get a garnish. Your bones get. You're supposed to just kind of like break down back into the dirt. How about a makeup? 
a make a wish kid that wants sorry that <laughs> wants to wants to simulate the murder of Osama bin Laden. Yeah, that's a great <laughs> way. Wants I want a compound in Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> and I want the Navy SEAL to come in, and I'm going to hide behind my wife, and then they're going to shoot me and dump my body in the ocean. <laughs> They're like, well, we did it for Bat Kid, so I guess we <laughs> did it for Bat. Kid. <laughs> That's how we got Osama. It like touched his heart. He was like, I guess I'll show up and do I, this. My favorite oh, my movie is Zero Dark Thirty, <laughs> <laughs> and I want to die like Osama. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Although he said, "Sorry, like sorry, I have to say this." <laughs> <laughs> sorry, yeah. Totally understandable. Yeah. That's fucking funny. Yeah, you're saying the bones <sighs> get fucked up. Doesn't matter. Dude. No, okay. <laughs> <That's so funny>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck on that kid just sitting in that great chair. They skimped, and they were just like, "You know what? Fuck it. We'll just dump him at sea." That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like he out. has cancer. <laughs> <laughs> you said any wish. He sees the laser beams coming in through his window. He's like, "Oh, <laughs> yes." <laughs> I would love to have a son just so I could write to the Make-A-Wish Foundation with my left hand and be like, I really want my dad <laughs> to fuck Allison Bree. <laughs> They're like, it's what he wants. <laughs> I would, I'm going to deny my son that. <laughs> There's a sock company that's apparently like using their retarded son as like the yeah I saw that see that? like yeah this Down Post syndrome job? guy has come up with it's about time he pulled his yeah, weight damn this poor Down yeah. syndrome boy thinks he invented socks <laughs> 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 they're using him as like the uh, like the mascot yeah and they're just fucking killing it all damn yeah so there's there's money to be made oh the yeah MGM in the, in the line. retarded business the retarded industry is about to be like easily three billion a year. yeah yeah, that's how Boeing can make up for killing all those people with those faulty jets. You're like, um, we want to show you the guy that designed the plane. <laughs> Still want to be mean about him now? <laughs> about safety features? The dude who did He's the like, checks. I did my best. <laughs> I tried to make the best plane I could. <laughs> I'm sorry my best wasn't good enough for you. <laughs> and then a bunch of Indonesian people have to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> the government of Jakarta is like, we did not know it was a retarded guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good failsafe. Any historical fucking catastrophe, just be mm -hmm. like, there's a retarded guy at the helm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Yeah, yeah. Like, we didn't want to take all the credit for this. but Well, that was actually, that was like European history from like 1320 <laughs> yeah. until 1880. Look, we didn't want to shrug ourselves off, but we put retarded guys in charge. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Well, that probably does it, right? Yeah, It'll man. be like hour, hour 30. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're way over. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Sick. Yeah, I got to piss. Hour 40. That's perfect. Thank you, guys. So, yeah, of course, thank man. Thank um, you. Sorry to Adam. <laughs> Adam Adam has no idea that this happened. So, uh, guys, check out Adam Friedland on Twitter. <laughs> Give him a follow. Uh, yeah, thanks. Yes. And Matt and Shane's secret podcast.